Hello, friends. How's it going? Hi. Hey, hi. Howdy. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> oh, who do we have in here? We have Lavender. Oh, Mermaidium. Mermaidium. Oh, is, is that like a, a mermaid type of mineral? That's cool. Hi, Koji. Hi, Lily Moncat. Hi, Jelly. Hi, Dennis. Oh, hey, Navy. How's it going? Thank you so much for the super chat for the $3.99. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> yeah, I do kind of feel like the mom, honestly, the mom of the, the Stardew Valley creator community, because I don't know, like there might be like one or two people that have kids, but <laughs> I'm definitely the mom, <laughs> mom of the group. Hi. Welcome in. Oh, I'm doing much better. Oh my gosh, last week was rough. So I, I got sick around like Wednesday and it just did not go away. It was, it was a week. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, thanks, Alexis. Oh, which chat? Okay, I have too many chats on. I need to find the right chat to look at. Will be easier. There we go. Like if I look at my phone, um, it, it's a lot faster than the chat on my computer, which is really weird. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> oh, thanks, Elizabeth. Welcome in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a, it was a rough week. So not only was I sick, I also like work. We had some people not show up. So I've just been working a lot. So yay. I'm happy to have a day off finally. <laughs> Just started Stardew Valley after watching for oh thanks watching it for twenty four seven, fishy no name. Thanks. Well, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are we at right now? Okay, so it's been a couple of weeks since we've played this um, this playthrough. Um, ba 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 da ba da ba da ba da. I make a lot of sound effects, so don't mind to me. <laughs> oh, hey, Kiwi. How's it going? There we go. Oh my gosh. Every time. <laughs> Why do I hear it twice? Let's mute that. <laughs> Thank you so much for the four ninety nine, maybe. Oh, if y'all don't know, uh, it says Clinton... But he's from like the, the Twitch days and I know what his real name is. It's Navy, N-A-B-Y. <laughs> or Navy Wolf, but whatever. We know. <laughs> Thanks, Carolina Rose. All right, so we are in, um, we're back at the Sad Sap Farm, right? And it should be the 13th day, I do believe. It's been a little bit, uh, the 13th day. So we should be having like egg festival stuff now. And I'm hoping that I have enough money to buy plenty of strawberries, but I don't know how many strawberries we're going to buy. Like, all the strawberries? Don't mind these. I was doing some other stuff. <laughs> I know. It does. It makes me feel... I always feel old, Clinton. I always feel old. Like, there's regular Clinton, and then there's the cool Clint. You know which one you are. Um, let's see here. I'm going to hit exit. Do I want to make sure that our music is on in game? It is on in game. Okay. So we're going to keep the music on in game. And then just in case there's any fun things, because we're going to have a festival. I want to have the festival music going because it's a bee in particular. <laughs> oh, thanks, Khalid. I'm happy they help. Yeah, I'm happy they help you. That's the point. That's what I, I like to do. Helping people makes me feel good. Um, buh, 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 buh. We have animation canceling on. Cool. I'm not so good at the animation canceling, but I do like using my space bar for like chopping things. It's it's great. <laughs> you hit 35 this year. <laughs> Same. <laughs> well, no, I think uh, we established I'm slightly older. Uh, number one source for weather news and entertainment, blah, blah, blah. Sunny, sunny. Cool, 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 cool. And oh, bats today. Oh, that's right. So we have, um, I've listed all the mods. Um, 
in the description we have the ui info suite and i did do a slight adjustment because we had the anywhere chess mod going on which was crazy like it was too good right it was like i i would never have to get a backpack ever all i have to do is buy build a chest but i have it set up so that now um uh, I changed it. Someone had made a suggestion changing things to make it more balanced. Like I can't access my um, I can't access my chests in the mines. It's based on area, right? So since we're here, I can access all the chests on this screen. But that's it. I think that's gonna like balance it out a little bit better and make it better. Oh, thanks, thanks, Bacon. Bacon's gonna be helping me with the um, cause. My, my work has been overloading me, so he's going to be helping me out with a lot of stuff on the channel lately. He's like um, one of my lifetime friends. So say hey to Bacon, guys. You'll be seeing him around. You're 37 goat on 38? Yeah, I know. I still feel like 24 on the inside. Does that count? Well, not, not on the outside. Definitely not on the outside. My gosh, no. Oh, okay. So we have 8,600, which is great. Um, I think tomorrow I want to upgrade the copper bar. So I need to reserve about 2,000. And we should be able to... Do, do, do. What is it? Yeah, I should be able to... Ooh. Oh, we did pass out yesterday. Bleh. Um, what was I saying? Words. What are the words that I was saying, though? Should be able to finish the spring crops bundle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the spring crops bundle today. Do I have, did I save some green beans? That's, that's the only question. Okay, I did. And if we do that, then I could get some speed grow on 20 of my strawberries, which is like, if I don't do that, I feel all weird. Yeah, thanks, Bacon. He doesn't know that much about the stardews, but... Maybe I'll make him play sometime. <laughs> if I could ever convince him. Words are really tough, guys. It's like, especially on Sunday and also on Monday and sometimes on Tuesday. <laughs> Any other day of the week. It just makes words really difficult to say. <laughs> Alright, so we've got this, um, this one, which we need Gertrude. I don't remember the name of our first Scarecrow, honestly. Um... We might just come up with a new name. Um, I was thinking Javier. Javier sounds like a nice name for a scarecrow, right? <laughs> oh, thanks, Koji. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, this playthrough is the Stardew Valley Expanded playthrough. Do we have quality? What did I, did I end up doing? Yeah, I didn't remix things because I was being smirt. <laughs> so we're gonna save five golden parsnips somewhere. Da, 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 We've got two. Cool, 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 cool. Save the rest, save the rest. I'm such a hoarder. I don't know what to, I don't know how to not hoard everything. <laughs> like how do people function without saving everything. I know I could just sell stuff, but if I'm hoarding things, then I'm not gonna sell it. Oh, what are we gonna do? Okay, so I have these, uh, spots. We can- I guess I could put some extra strawberries there. I'm definitely going to plant t at least 20 strawberries. Ooh, that animation canceling is fun. But at least 20 strawberries. Which, I have the space for it right there. That should be fine. Oh, thanks, Bacon. Um, I think there are some mods that, like, switch out the way that, um, the Scarecrow looks. But I don't know about customizing it. I know you can put a hat on the, the alien rare crow. That's about it. Da, 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 da. Yes, Wakey does have a Discord. Um, I think Haken can drop the, the command for that. Um, and I need to do some work on it. It Me teaching myself how to do things, because I have this problem. Uh, this is a problem that perfectionists have, guys. I'm a perfectionist who isn't perfect at anything. 
it's, it's bad. But I like to do things myself. And I know that's like probably not the best thing to do because I don't know how to do anything. And so I'll spend hours and hours and hours teaching myself how to do something. And then it just never turns out the way that I want it. So I just throw it in the trash, you know. <laughs> well, not really, but um, I'm learning. <laughs> Uh, Navy, we just relaunched it with uh, the last live stream I did. Oh, is it? Okay, I'll fix it. Don't mind that over there. I'll copy the link and then, um,. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, don't mind me. Copy. We're going to go paste that. And there you go, bacon. If you copy that one and repaste it, that should work. I'll fix it in the night bot too, and that way everything will be all updated. <laughs> no, not night, night moon. When you Google night bot, sometimes it automatically like fills out stuff I don't want to fill up. Sorry, I'm doing stuff while I'm doing stuff. Log in and maximize and commands. So if I tell you what I'm doing, then you can know what I'm doing. And then I won't have to show you what I'm doing, right? Yes, that's how it works. And paste, whoops, don't do that. Do what I tell you to do, robot. The robots never know, like never listen. Okay, so now the command should be just fixed. <laughs> um yeah so don't part of my dust is like it's it's not fully set up i think there are some permissions that needs to be fixed i haven't been able to been, be in it for a little bit we gotta get some moderators set up there's a couple of people that have um have already um volunteered so we'll get that set up soon i got to get on a, a live call with a uh, bacon and have him help me with all that too which is nice Oh, back from Costco. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Costco on a Sunday does not sound very fun. Oh, so we're going to be um, upgrading the wood axe here very soon. So um, I want to get some of this stuff cleared up. That way, if we have the wood axe set up, I can clear out some of those stumps so we can access some fun areas. I think that would be super great. Why are you not playing any spring music? Come on. And I think we have until like two o'clock to get to the spring festival. So if we leave here like sooner, I'll be great. I don't know why I'm bothering with just the stumps. They're not, they're whatever. We just want to clear up some space. And then, yeah, I'm gonna go kind of, I think I'm gonna go a little strawberry crazy here. Oh, thanks, Dylan. Yeah. The Android uprising has started. <laughs> oh, there's a quote. It's hard doing stuff while I'm doing stuff. I know. <laughs> Weekend samples at Costco. Man, I haven't been to Costco in so long. It's probably because, like, I don't live with my sister anymore, and we had a shared Costco card, and then we just stopped. Okay, uh, what am I doing with my life? Who knows? I don't know. Do I have space and time to fill out some more? Do I? Oh no, I I remember I have some seeds here, thirty here, so I can plant some of those. We're gonna plant some strawberries here. I'm gonna click off screen so I can like count. One, two, three, four. Four times three, so there's 12, 30, 40, 50, 16, 17. There's 17 spaces there. There should be the 20 spaces there. So it's all hoed and watered. Um, I can, like, I could hoe a little bit more. And if we have extra space, then, you know, we have extra space. Bloop, 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 bloop. Plop, plop, plop. These fields are so messy. <laughs> And uh, uh, Gertrude is just like hanging out in the middle of nowhere. She's protecting my rice, but still, it's, it does seem like out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, 
thanks, Dewey. Appreciate it. Hi, yummy mummy. <laughs> Oh, Lavender, it's very intimidating to me, too. It really is, like... Because I am very, very comfortable with the vanilla version. I like knowing what I'm doing. When I don't know what I'm doing, then I'm just like, Ah, what am I doing? You know. <laughs> exactly that. Da, 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 da. Ah, that should be good, right? It's 11.30. Mm. I got time. I got time. There's like some 12 right there. I don't know why I put that away. Pick up, sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Navy, for the ten dollar super chat. I like the is that a hippo? <laughs> you dork. You just like making the witch noise scare me. Oh, and my poor cat. I didn't like give you hugs at all. I'm sorry. What did we name you? Hammy, right? Sticky. Oh, that was the <laughs> that was the sandwich stream that I named it Hammy. That's what it was. Oh my goodness. Okay, Sticky the cat. I wouldn't want to be a cat and be sticky. That doesn't sound fun at all. Let's do strawberries up there. Let's do, like, whatever. I'll plant them all when I get back. <laughs> German Andres, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate that. <laughs> Welcome in. Oh, hey, Pokey Collect. I'll grab that. Um, nothing else here? Cool. Good. <laughs> Gotta keep up tradition. <laughs> My favorite pet is the, um... The gray cat here. This one is um, most of all my cats are gray. Uh, Misa is like a gray striped gray and brown and black cat and Yumyun, which is named after Yumyun the hammer paw from Kipo. Uh, we gave him the middle name of Flapjack. Anyways, he's just an all gray, big old fluffy with bright yellow eyes gray cat. He's huge. <laughs> Uh, he tries to lay on the coffee table, and I swear, it's just like, I can't, there's no room for my coffee on the coffee table anymore. It's just like a cat. <laughs> uh, he planted strawberries on Egg Festival Day. Oh, you like, guys, I think I'm change going to change up the party uh, emote a little bit so I can cut out the edges of me and the sandwich and, like, make it rainbowy and stuff. Because I thought it could move as a gift, but it doesn't. So I'm going to fix that up, make it more fun to share. All right, Pierre. Um, <laughs> give me strawberries. All the strawberries. Uh, we need to save. Oh, I don't want to go too crazy on the strawberries because if I do, then I'm just going to be watering strawberries like all the time. I think 50 might be good. And then we have 2000 reserved for upgrading the wood axe, right? And a little extra money to go buy some more parsnip seeds, I think. Or we can buy those sprinklers, since this is exp expanded. <laughs> Trying to upgrade my coffee table. It's not a coffee table anymore, it's a cat table. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so one of the mods like changes the way they look? This shit's looking fine. Like, like his, his shirt's still garbage, but look at him. Yeah. He looking nice. Maybe it's like the leaner face. He does look like he's he needs to eat a little bit though. <laughs> Pam looks the same. Ooh, I had a black cat at one point. What's Olivia's here? Look at her little hat. She looks so cute. They're all in their spring wear. Robin's still wearing the same thing though. Yeah, yeah, yeah participating what's up girl same <laughs> same yet i'm streaming anyways why <laughs> uh. yeah i like having more options for pets but um 
that isn't just modding it. I've modded a few different pet styles in before. Tried to make one look like, like my cat that I had for a very long time. She died when I was 17. Her name was Taffy. Tastes even better if Pierre... Oh, sorry. But I would love that. Yeah, I think this is the one with Victor. I think so. Victor's Olivia's son, right? Children have been looking forward to this festival for weeks. You know, a good thing that you can do if you ever run Easter egg hunts at home, what you do to make the children not fight over how many eggs they all ha are, have is have uh, different color eggs, the same number, like five red eggs and five green eggs and five blue eggs or whatever, and be like, you get all of the red eggs, that's yours. And then they don't fight over them. They just choose, they just go and search for their color. But that's a lot of work. <laughs> Never mind, just ignore me. All right, let me have some soda soda. Ah, uh, Taffy? Yeah. Uh, she was the beginning of my uh, tradition of naming animals after food. And then Yum Yum, I just kind of gave up. Well, his middle name is Flapjack, so I guess it's fine. But I like to name all my animals after some sort of food. It's fun. Mm hmm. Sophie is a bachelor. Or a bachelorette. A b a I can date that one. <laughs> That's all. Oh, hey, Gamer Legend. Nice to see you. Um, yes, just like a treasure hunt. There's Victor. You were asking about Victor earlier. Best my Wore my best slacks and dress shirt today. That's nice. It looks like what you wear every day, though. Like, can I? Oh. Rude. There. <laughs> you used to do a rotten egg toss. Oh, yeah, that sounds gross. Oh, have you guys ever done like one of those like egg spoon races where you put the spoon in your mouth? Don't do it with a metal spoon. <laughs> Let me just tell you. I have chipped my tooth off of, not a metal spoon, but like something metal. I got a, a chip right here. <laughs> it's hard to see. <laughs> yeah, this one is, um, I installed the seasonal mods. Mmm. That linked in the description where they have like different seasonal outfits and they look slightly like cuter I guess I have no nose like look at my profile it's just like flat nose I don't like that but <laughs> the rest of it's fine recommendations how to get a prismatic shard early game or you could always do the fish pond I mean it takes a long time to get prismatic shard from a rainbow trout in a fish pond but Demetrius eggs are weird don't no 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 I'm not ready look at Marnie's outfit she looks cute look at a little scarf a little flower in her hair I love it yeah seasonal outfits for the Stardew Valley expanded wooden spoons are better yeah 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 <laughs> for sure <laughs> Oh, stop it. Stop it, Kiwis. I'm talking to myself. Oh, wait, let me... I always forget to do this. I'm a little off. It really bothers me. <laughs> Just one eyeball through the... Da, 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 da. Why can't you get perfect? There, that looks... That looks... That looks good. You know what? It's acceptable. And then we'll just get a picture can have it forever. It's a good memory. I'll send it in the mail to, like, somebody. <laughs> I don't know who. Um, mine is just, like, one that I made, so I just keybound it to, like, it's nothing that would work for any sort of official speedruns. Mine's just keybound to my space bar for my animation canceling. Because I don't have, like, the, the extra, like, other buttons on my mouse or anything. I downloaded the script from the um, speed, the speedrunner place, the the site, <laughs> but then uh, I couldn't figure out how to use it because I don't know. 
It was late. I think it was 3 a.m. that I got it. So who have I not talked to yet? Uh, Caroline, the wizard. I don't think the wizard comes to the spring festival. And Claire, I don't think she's here. I don't know. We'll look. Morris, Robin, Jody. Oh, a lot of people. <laughs> Oops. This is not an official update, no. This is uh, just modded. Oh uh, yeah, I can share. I'll probably um share it sometime on the Discord. Or put it on my website. Um I'll update the description of the video when I'm able to share it too. I think that was everybody. Just Wizard and Claire oh Leah. And Claire. And Jody and Ed. why am I I forget people. We have Elliot Pierre. Eh. I don't care about Pierre. He's whatever. And <laughs> Jody and Emily. <laughs> I think it's just they look so different that I don't know that I don't speak to them. Like, look at her. Jody's looks great, but like her hair is so much lighter and I don't recognize her. Caroline. Oh, I've talked to you all. Okay. Uh, yeah. I low-key dropped some merch. <laughs> I didn't want to get into, like, it's not like a full full thing, but I did make some stuff, a few different designs. I'm wearing one of my shirts right now. Because I just got the design, or just got it in the mail yesterday. And I think I want to make some adjustments to it. Yeah. But I designed this thing. <laughs> There's a, a little witch's uh, seven-pointed star, which is normally a pointed star that's used for, like, um, protection. But it kind of looked like the summon star. I threw a bunch of um, of gaming logos in there, so I call it, like, summon gamer magic. I like it. <laughs> and some other stuff in there, just like my little catchphrase and everything. Just designs that I had been working on for like a long time and I finally got around to putting it on the website. Just ignore it, it's fine. <laughs> I guess we'll do the egg hunt now. Oh, thanks, Lavender. Oh yeah, what are you eating? We always like hearing about food here. Yummy mummy, I think I found these like in crates in the... I'm pretty sure I found these in crates in the, in the mines, actually. Yeah, let's do this. Um, my best is 14. I don't think I'm gonna get 14 today. I'd have to like super focus. Your fish pocket catchphrase? Ooh, I should do that. No, it's just the hey, hi, howdy, and hello, and then a bye. <laughs> so far. Uh, I was thinking of making a couple of memes for shirts too. I have a lot of fun designing things. Ooh, craft deluxe at least. Nice. Ooh, macaroons? I've tried that once. <laughs> they got really flat. <laughs> like, super flat. But the temperature, it was in the middle of summer, so I shouldn't have been doing it uh, at the time of year that I was. One. I don't know if the eggs are in different spots in the expanded. I know the houses are set up different. Ah! Well, I'm already behind. <gasps> ah! Stress! Stressful! We're just gonna grab this one. Ooh. I don't have the one at the bridge anymore. Or the one there? There it is. I don't like this. I can't- I can't be awesome if I don't know where they are. Oh my gosh. Rude. <laughs> that one there oh no it's just a jazz it's just a jazz it's okay we'll still win nine yeah <laughs> it's fine i got lost <laughs> so good to know they're slightly off is nine enough to win oh crap is it i guess we'll find out <laughs> thanks that 
Winner of the egg hunt. Winner, winner, winner. Me. Come on. Yeah. I don't know. I've never gotten less than than like a 12. No, I think I got 11 once, but just the nine is good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I've never lost yet. Except for maybe the very first time I ever played. I don't remember. That was like six years ago, five years ago. Ooh, nine is a lucky. It is a lucky number in general. Let's go ahead and um, I'll put that in there. Since I have a, a quick second, we're going to put that back, put that back, and da, 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 da. Uh, what am I grabbing? Oh, right. I keep forgetting I can do this. Plop. I just want to be able to see what I'm doing, and I bought 50 seeds, so the priority is going to be... Um, Strawberry seeds and anything else left over is all going to be springtime seeds. And then we'll plant the rest of the springtime seeds tomorrow. Okay, so there's a good patch of 20 right there. And then we'll just fill this out. Strawberry fields. Forever. Nine, ten, and one, two. Cool. I have more spring seeds than I have space for. That's fine. And then we're going to be going into town and most likely seeing the um, what's it called? The cutscene with Linus because I don't think I've seen that one yet. Well, maybe I have. I almost always see the Linus cutscene on the Egg Festival because I never get around to doing this until or going into town at nighttime until then. Hi Wumbo! How's it going? Oh, there it is. Yup. You lost to Vincent and Jazz on your first year. What? 900 strawberry seeds sounds completely unmanageable. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a lot of work. I think I have a hard time watering more than, like, getting to 150 seeds. I just want to cry after that. Uh, turned up at the right I know old scare around those darn raccoons um yeah that's smart sending me over to talk to the raccoons I don't think that's a good idea what if they like scratch me or something dun 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 it was just Linus feeling bad and stiff who knows what's in the trash can? It could be like expired makeup or something. You could resell that. Yeah, no, don't do that. Uh, shame for food to go to waste. Oh, thank you, Amber. Oh yeah, the the, the speed ups are a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. They're fun to make. I like watching them too. Cool, that means everything in George's trash can is officially all mine now. None for you, Linus. I get all the cookies. <laughs> oh, look at Gus and his little, his little vest and little bow ties. Just so cute. Bow ties are adorable. I mean, they're super dapper, but they're adorable. I love them. I know what you were doing, Linus. It sounds so accusatory. Or it's just the way I say it. I'm hungry. I'm hungry all the time. I'm at like zero energy right now, guys. Can I have some zucchini fritters, please? <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> A girl can dream, but... You'd be mad if you went to talk to, to raccoons and it was just Linus. <laughs> Like, ooh, animals. I want to be one with the animals today. No, it's just some guy. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's get to, ooh, pick up all the things. I don't really have time to pick up all the things. I'm just going to pick them up anyways, because why not? 
Your dad wore bow ties to work. Ooh. My kid was, my older kid was really into bow ties for a little while. Oh, I'm in the wrong room. I don't know what I'm doing. I go into the ban, the 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 whatever, the pantry. But we watched a lot of Doctor Who, so you know, bow ties are cool. Um, I think they do now, Onion. Like that was one of the um, things added into one of the updates is being able or having slightly different things being said on the year after. So they're just not repeating the same like blah -de blah blah and blah 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 blah, you know, like I do. <laughs> it takes a mana class to rock a boat tie. Yeah. I think so. I was also a really, really big fan of Bill Nye for a long time and he rocked a bow tie. I wouldn't say it's a mean bow tie. It was a cool bow tie. How do you determine whether or not a bow tie is mean or not? Or something is mean. Is mean like another word for cool? And I just have been saying it wrong. Or have I been saying it right? I don't know. These are the things that I think of and I usually just keep to myself and I probably should. <laughs> Anyways. Four more. Okay, so I got a little, like, a, a little bit of no time, so we're just gonna go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Look at this dino egg. I should get a coop. Mm-hmm. I think so. I'm just gonna throw this on something. Uh... You. There we go. And a bedtime. Good night, sticky kitty. <laughs> Oh, it's doing good so far. Doctor Who and Ducky from NCIS. <laughs> yeah. Oh, guys, uh, those of you who do watch Doctor Who, who's your favorite doctor? That's a that's a loaded question, I guess. It's Haley's birthday today. This is one of the nice things about the UI info suite. It just tells me all the stuff, so I don't have to like do the other stuff. Queen of the sauce, coleslaw, fortune teller says, pyramids, tenet, yeah. Let's drop these off. And I guess I can, no, we can keep that. We can keep that there. I'm going to bring this with me too. And then I'm probably going to eat all this algae. Oh, Harry, thank you so much for the super chat. My partner and I adore your videos from Australia. Oh, thanks, Harry. Appreciate you. Welcome in. Yeah, he's, this, uh, <laughs> my witch always makes me laugh. Um, the, the wind thing in this always just like, if I take too long to, to watch it, it just makes me think there's Pokemon in the trees. <laughs> Because I played a little bit of Pokemon earlier. Oh, thanks, Dad. 500 gold. You're so great. Hey, Rick. How's it going? Ecclestein was the first Doctor that I saw. I think I saw a couple of, like, the really, really, really old episodes. Uh, like, way back in the day. But it didn't hold my interest because I was a lot younger at the time. I was more interested in Star Trek at the time. And then I love David Tennant. He was so great. And then I started seeing David Tennant in other roles that were not the Doctor. And, like, I watched Jessica Jones and I watched, like, different things where he played, like, kind of a bad guy. And he's such a good bad guy. I love it. Yeah, he gets... I like it a lot. Gonna plant all, water all the strawberries. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, the wartime doctor was good. I 
haven't watched um, anything recently. Um, I think the last season that Peter Picaldi was in, I haven't watched um, much since then. I need to. Eh, we'll get around to it, I guess. Should we give something to Miss Haley Ailey? Yeah, I got a flower. She likes flowers. Really good in Broadchurch, yeah. Broadchurch was hard to watch, but um, he was really good in it. Ooh, I am not good at animation canceling at all, you guys. <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> David Tennant is Scrooge McDuck, isn't he? <laughs> He's so good at it, too. Uh, water. I'm already almost out of energy, too. We should go check for some spring onions today. Um, Spring onions, go get our wood axe, like, upgraded. We could do some fishing or... Um, what else? Let's see what the traveling merchant has. That'll be fun. Da, da, da. Yeah, Broadchurch has Jodie Whittaker in it too. That's how where I I uh, originally knew her from, or what I the first thing I I had seen her in was that. I still have like ten seeds do i want to plant them it's only 9 10 i have the time it's just the energy that i'm concerned about right let's see if i got some goods to make some like seeds to make a snack i need a snack is what it is like all i personally always need a snack but like i need a snack yeah i do know that i probably should have just Oh, I should have set up my fields. Like I do that. Um, we got our first free one from her. Um, I usually set it up so that I have spaces in my fields automatically, and I don't have to worry about like um, placements later. I kind of forgot yesterday. All right, so I can make two field snacks, which we're definitely gonna do. Plop. 4,000 for quality? Yeah, it's a little it's a little pricey for me right now, I think, with um, me wanting to go and upgrade my wood axe. But it definitely is going to be worth it if I can make a lot of money. Hopefully these sprinklers are going to, like, super help us with that. And then, or not the sprinklers, strawberries, whatever. Strawberry sprinklers, they cost the same. No, they don't cost the same. <laughs> They're both things that are in the game. They're, that's about where the similarities lie. <laughs> Okay, so there's nine. Oh, I just have one lonely seed. Where are you gonna go? Let's put you right here. I know I don't need the scarecrows for these seeds, but it's already here and it's close. It's, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> Let's get five of these. Cool. I'll drop these off. Oh, I can make quite a few more. So that's nice. We're gonna need some more wood here soon too. If I want to build anything, let's go ahead and put this straw hat on. Yay! Gotta keep it off, off of my pale complexion, you know, the sun, so I don't get any, like, freckles. Actually, freckles are cool. I like freckles, but I don't get any bad freckles. Not that freckles are bad. You know what I mean. Sun damage. I don't have sunscreen in Stardew Valley, as far as I'm aware. No. Hmm. <laughs> Um, I don't- I think I watched a little bit of Torchwood. Da 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 da. Okay, okie dokie. We're gonna do that, that, and this. This is what we're gonna eat today if we need it. Which I'm gonna need it. What am I gonna do with the rest of my day? We're gonna go see what the traveling merchant has. We're gonna go give something to Haley. Like... I can be nice. Let's give her this one. It's silver. Oh, let's give something to Caroline too. No, we'll give her... No, I need those. We'll give her a silver parsnip. I guess I could sell some stuff. It's Sunday. But like, I want to keep everything. <laughs> no, we want to we wanna make friends with Caroline because I like, I like tea money. <laughs> I do. And then... 
Do we want to go fishing or do we want to go and do um, some mining today? Questions, questions. Let's do mining, I guess. It's a good luck day, so we might make some progress. Oh, I didn't know that. It's a... I can see that now, <laughs> mermaid. I can see it now that you mentioned it. I didn't know it before, though. <gasps> da, 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 da. Oh, right now, Rick, I am on PC. There are a bunch of different mods. Um, a bunch of various different mods that I have in here. Hey, Mabel. Ooh, nice. 800 for sap is so great. <laughs> there we go. Gonna do five puffer fish. I've never seen her sell more than like one fish at a time. That would be a really great gift for Miss uh, Caroline. And it might actually be worth it. She loves summer spangles. Yeah, I was thinking that. Let's see where we're at with her. Where are we at with Caroline? Oh, we're really close. Let's give her this summer spangle because it's a loved gift and it's almost worth the, the 900 gold because I can start making tons of money from tea if I wanted to. Yeah, of course. A lot of different mods are playing together in a nice little harmony to make this work. <laughs> But I love the, the coloration change of this mod, or the, the mod that I had installed, the Stardew Blue. It just looks so good, right? Mm -hmm. These trees look great. No spring onions. Oh my gosh, how rude. I guess we'll get Robin her, her thing. Thanks. Little wood axe. Oh, that would be great if you could sell to the traveling merchant. Oh, I wonder if... So this is where you can buy sprinklers. I wonder if Sophia... She's not here. I wonder if she likes um regular sprinklers for five. I can't be the only one who never uses regular sprinklers, right? Like, I never use them. <laughs> we could check where she is. Uh, da, 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 da. somewhere not here. Uh, looks like she's at Pierre's store right now. But I wonder if she likes parsnips or if she's like all the other like younger bachelors, because like the younger bachelors don't seem to like it. I love this little area right here. Just go right over to the beach. Da, 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 nothing. I do need that for the crab pot, huh? What is in the chest here? I guess we'll just put that away. That's fine. A lot of good stuff, but not enough to finish the crab pot bundle. But we'll grab this iron ore. You always skip regular. I always do. I almost feel like. Like, I know that they can be really helpful, but I feel like I get to level 6 of farming sooner than I get um, enough goods to make a bunch of regular sprinklers. And then I feel like it's just a waste of my copper bars, you know. There's so many better things that I could do. Oh, wait. Hello, doggo. Let's talk to the doggo. Oh, mini pets for Dusty. <laughs> okay, that was fine. We just want to... um. Crabs. We can clean up some crabs. Am I selling anything? No, but I am going to visit Caroline. Um, She is... Sophie is over there. I don't really need to talk to her. Caroline's up here. It's Sunday. She'll be up by the tree. Nope. No. Sunday? Is she in the... I don't know. She's in a place... Like, all of my, my things that I remember, I know where people usually are in different areas, but, it, like, I just gotta throw that all away. Well, not all of it. I know he's still there. <laughs> but, like, it's changed now. Right? And the trash can's on the other side. And it's weird. Hey, buddy. Hey, friend. Yeah, I've got so much work to do. Gosh, just wanted to say hello. You're so rude. 
You're not the nice Clint. The nice Clint's in the chat. <laughs> uh, uh, do you know what uh, the skull key is for? Yeah, the skull key will bring you... Um, when you go visit the desert the first time, there's a little mines there, and you can unlock those mines and start getting iridium ore and some of the good stuff. The scary stuff. The good stuff. Let's do upgrade. Um, wood axe. Yes. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Where went all my money? <laughs> What are hot links? Are hot links like a type of um, ba 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 sausage? Where's Caroline? Caroline? Oh, she was in there. She was in her tea room. That's why. Oh. They're like a, a type of hot dog, yeah. Uh, Mikey G. Da 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 da. I think I have just enough time to give this to Caroline. Maybe. Girl, where are you at? Are you in your room? I've got to go give this to... Oh, she's up here. I gotta go give this to Robin. If we can get her to two hearts right now, that'll be so great. Let's do this. Take this. Yeah. Does that mean I can go in the tea room now? <laughs> Yay. Yeah did it <laughs> a little spicy sausage oh yeah spicy stuff in mac and cheese is so good i like to put um we make mac and cheese like uh, once a week or so i like to put a little uh peas in it and some like those little mini hot dogs a little um oh my gosh what are those tiny little hot dogs called they're tiny <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Uh, they're, they're little ones and it's just kind of up and then you mix it all together and then we like to sprinkle chia seeds on top which I know sounds really weird but it was like one of these things I did to because my kids like the bad food which I consider mac and cheese like bad food because it's not it doesn't have anything creams in it and it's not processed so uh little smokies yeah the cocktail weenies I forgot. Like, I totally spaced what they're called. But anyways, we sprinkled chia seeds on top because they're going to get their stuff anyways. And now they won't eat it without it because they just really like the crunch. It's weird. Some people like to have mac and cheese baked with, like, breading on top. And so you bake it and it's like, has this crunchy thing. So that's how I grew up with mac and cheese. And so it just kind of reminds me of that a little bit. But it's good. And then I like to put buffalo sauce on mine or riracha or sriracha or like ooh chipotle flavored uh chalua hot sauce i'm a hot sauce gal so sorry so we'll we'll go back to the game <laughs> it's tea room time lil smoke oh no not the vienna sausages those are those are not for me <laughs> it's a very relaxing lil smokies um rick i'm one of those people like i feel really weird going to bed early in this if I don't get every minute out of every day taken care of I feel like I wasted my day but I know that isn't the case with everybody sometimes you're out of energy sometimes you just got other things you want to do um so it's totally fine if you want to sleep through to the next day a lot of people do that my personal playthrough is I like to I would rather pass out than go to bed early <laughs> let's see have a cup You love hot sauce on almost everything? Yeah. So good. Come in here for a fresh cup of tea every day. It's my little ritual. Ooh, she's a witch. She's a witch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm speaking to your soul now. Love spicy. Hot links it is. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be really good. I think so. You always bake it with cheese on top. Nice. Um, there's there's probably a few things that hot sauce doesn't go that great with, but I don't know. I usually don't put hot sauce on cake. <laughs> usually not. <laughs> a little sour cream. Ooh. Something you can do is like, I like horseradish a lot. I put it on a lot of sandwiches and you can put a little horseradish on too. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but it was good. In case you don't want like the other kind of spicy, you just want like 
a heat, but not a burning heat. That sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that means uh, we're going to be able to get some tea here soon, too. That's done. I have just a little bit of time to get on up to Robin's. Um, give her this for a little extra money. But if not, you know, it's whatever. She'll be popping out. Um, I'm going to try to swing by. Ooh, what time does... I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> Horseradish mustard? Oh my gosh. Don't get me on mustard, you guys. <laughs> you know anything about me and mustard. It's a problem. Don't eat that, no. Give it, yes, jeez. You're just the worst. <laughs> Talking to myself. <laughs> Horseradish is so good. Like um, my Reuben sandwiches, my French, I, t I can talk about food a lot. I've worked at so many various different types of restaurants. So I've experienced a lot of different things, but um, I like, and I like to cook a lot too. Oh, thank you so much, Diego. Appreciate that. Say hello to your girlfriend for me. Hi, Diego's girlfriend. We're gonna go like this. Whoop. What do we got here? Blop, blop. Cool. I guess um, I don't really have anything to craft. So yeah, now I don't have access to these chests when I'm in the mines. That was the, one of the things that we um, switched with the balancing because I, um, it just didn't seem didn't seem right, right? It seemed bad. <laughs> like I shouldn't have been doing that. But um, if I have multiple chests up here, I can access them all. That's one of the, the uh, anywhere chest mod. Can I please fix the name? Um, Chest, chest, no. Uh, Oreos is Oreos. Oreos is fine. <laughs> I don't know why I called it Oreos. <laughs> Just ignore me. Hi, Bella Citrus. Welcome in. How are you? You've been working back to back hours or oh, back of house for 15 plus years. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while since I've had to work in the kitchen, but I've, I've spent my days there for sure. Let's eat some stuff before we go. I absolutely should have brought some more field snacks, but you know, maybe we'll get some bugs and I can make some bug steaks. So crunchy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm horrible with this animation canceling. I just want to hold it down. Oh, hey, Dougie. Hey, bud. Just die. Thank you. <laughs> Smelt the Oreos. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Oreos are so good. They're so bad. The baddest of the good foods. The goodest of the bad foods. I don't know. That's the same thing. Let's see. Oh, thanks, Rick. Yeah, I need to make a few more, um, few more uh, farm layouts. I haven't had the time lately, but it's definitely on my list. I have a couple other ideas. We'll just bomb this. I want to like pickaxe that, but I'm at 10 energy. I'd rather just go down the ladder. Double filled Oreos. They have some really weird flavors out and about now, right? Like some things are really good, but also like weird. I want to try them all. I'm just seeing if there's anything that I can like grab to eat. I was kind of hoping that slime would give me a uh, some algae? 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 Whatever. Whatever. I was watching Blade stream over on Twitch and he was saying an algae and I think that's like a New Zealand thing or something. Then I felt all self-conscious with how I've been saying it. It's like <laughs> algae. Gee, I don't know. I don't- there's a lot of words I don't say right anyways, so it makes sense. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm out. I'm like tapped. Oh no. Thank goodness I have this bomb. I'm just gonna sit here and let it consume me. 
Um, I want to see if there's a coal cart before we go down that ladder. Maybe get enough bug meat for a bug steak. Or some algae would be super nice. Some algae. <laughs> some green slimy stuff. You just like the stream? Thanks, Rick. Birthday cake Oreos? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the one thing I always want whenever I go to a restaurant that has, um, or like a fast food place that does like, uh, milkshakes or whatever. Is always like, um, Oreo stuff or Butterfinger stuff. Yes. So good. Okay, um. Dangerous. Here. I don't have this, like, I literally don't have enough energy to do anything right now, guys. Six energy. Ooh. I'm going to have to hope and hope and hope that we find a ladder. I can craft a bomb. Uh, find a ladder and maybe some green algae. Da 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 da. Algae is the U.S. Pro pronunciation. Yeah. <laughs> give me, give me green slime. Nope. Darn it. Darn. Why slime? It's all you're supposed to be good for. Let me eat your insides. Ooh, no, gross. That sounded wrong. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Something to eat. <laughs> I eat both of these. <laughs> you were looking for a Dougie. It was your Dougie mine. <laughs> I do that all the time. Like, because um, I've been starting to watch other streamers play while I'm doing stuff. Um, for other things and stuff. Um, and I always get I always get their sounds mixed up with like whatever. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of the wood, because I kinda want those. And then we're gonna hold this off for a little bit. Eat this. Yes. And then I can get my bug meat back. And now we are we're doing really good. I can go clean up all of these ore and maybe find a ladder before bedtime. Um, I didn't level up, I think. Bummer town. Oh, perfect. A ladder right away. Hey, crazy wolf. Wolf blood. How's it going? We're gonna go upstairs real quick. Okay, cool. Yeah, see, if I tried to hit the button for chests, it'll say you can't access the chest from here and it just pops up the, the bulletin board calendar instead, which is nice. We're gonna go pop back down. I'm gonna grab whatever is in here. Yay, much better sword. Oh, pond scum. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hey, butler. Dara. Nice to see you. <laughs> you just found out Krobus loves horseradish? Yeah, that's why Krobus is the best. It's like, essentially, like, horseradish is the mustard in Stardew Valley. <laughs> right? We're gonna drop this off. I'm gonna take that. Probably take that with me. I guess we'll head back home. I'm able to make two bug steaks if I really need to. Um, I'm gonna make some stuff. Wow, I got so far today. I don't know, I got distracted. That's okay. Um, uh, what are we taking with us? We're taking some stuff. I guess we'll take a topaz and some amethyst and this and that. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> no, not that one. This one. Cool. Your cat Boba Fett is <laughs> rude. I have to I have to close the door. Otherwise the cats come in anytime I'm streaming. Ooh, there's a thing right here. Um uh, we'll get rid of the ooh, do I want to get rid of the bait? No, maybe it'll be here tomorrow. I hate leaving forge behind. Oh, look, and there's a leak. Maybe I'll have enough time to go grab these forage. Oh, it's Sunday, so it's okay, because the reset was last night, not tonight. So it should still be here. The steel sword is only, like, slightly better than the rusty sword, but... Monsoon, the winds of dest I love monsoon season. Oh. So it's a good destruction. 
<laughs> but we'll come in. Oh, I know. I saw like I was watching Blade's um Blade's stream the other day and he had the cat on his lap and like my cat would not Oh, both of them. Well, Yumyun is still doesn't like. He's not a lap cat. I don't think. Well, at least not for me. He likes he likes my son better than he likes me. Um but he's not a lap cat, but Miso is. But she's only a lap cat when she knows that it's going to be an inconvenience to you. This is a typical cat thing to do. She's such a cat. Oh my gosh. She's like, oh, you look like you're busy. You look like you're you're doing things and you don't want me there right now. So, sup? <laughs> She's such a cat. Mm. You think the forest sword? Yeah, the forest sword is really good. I like that one. I wish that I got the four sword earlier. I usually tend to get it after I already have the, the insect head. And the insect head isn't as good as the four, four sword, I think. From what I remember. I could be wrong. Possibly. Well, we've got too much energy to, like, not do anything. So, like... Whatever. Maybe I'll fish a thing. Or maybe I'll clean up some rocks. Since there's some right here. Hey, rock. Hey, rock. You, rock. Yeah, we'll do rocks. And a rock, and a that, and a rock. Oops, rock, rock, rock. Yeah, cleaning up some rocks. 130, meh. I guess I shouldn't have eaten all of those um, cave carrots, but my pockets are full anyways, so. 150. That is, you know what? That's a good enough time for me to maybe make it into my door. Oh no. <laughs> Son of a monkey face. <laughs> I did that myself. <sighs> okay. It's fine. It's fine. We just passed out. We just lost a little money. We just, you know, it's fine. We didn't level up, and so <laughs> half energy. Yay! My favorite! <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. I think doesn't know. Oh, yeah. Passing out's my favorite thing to do. Like, like seriously, if I don't pass out on stream, I don't think I'm doing my job right. <laughs> and I usually try and pass out like strategically. That was not strategic at all. That was not intentional. <laughs> that was just me being distracted. Ooh, yay, Samberry season. Thank goodness, my gosh. Best day ever. And all my patates are done. Patoodles. Ugh. Ooh, it's patoodle a word. It could be. How do you spell patoodle? Patootle, I think with the T. It's like a type of potato. Potato. No. Patoodle. With a D? You think with a T D, right? Patoodles. So all the patoodles are ready. <laughs> you say potato and you say potato and I say patoodle. <laughs> that's, that's the right thing to say. Ha ha ha. Okay, we're gonna do some stuff. Um, ooh, it's a birthday. It's Olivia's birthday. I don't know what Olivia likes. I think she's a fancy person. She probably likes fancy things. Maybe we'll give her a fancy amethyst. She seems like, she seems like she would not like a patoodle. <laughs> She'd be like, what is this vegetable? What is this peasant's food? <laughs> right? Uh. Spelling with wickety. <laughs> Patoodle. <laughs> it sounds like it's a type of dog, but it is not. Although, I guess it is a kind of dog, right? So my sister has a, um, a couple of, what are they called? The big fluffy giant white dogs. Uh, Samoyeds, right? And they like to nickname them or call them Potato, like as a, a pet name. Although she has a pet name because she's a pet. But like your pet's pet name, right? You know what I mean. Is potato. 
So this is kind of dog, right? <laughs> Wait, you say it, Tato? <laughs> and Tato Swift. That's when you eat a potato and it makes you run super fast. <laughs> or sing about your heartbreak. Okay, just ignore me now, guys. <laughs> I think with the... I like to hoard a lot of stuff because I like to process it. With these gold star potatoes, I think we're going to... Um, keep those for gifts since they're not for the quality crop bundle and the rest we can eat and sell um it's gonna be salmon berry season so i'm gonna be switching to salmon berries but i am gonna plant some more cauliflower no not cauliflower parsnips because we need some gold star parsnips for the quality bundle what's the other quality crop that we need is there another spring no it's just when summer and fall <laughs> smelly with <the> wiki <laughs> A coach potato poodle. <laughs> you just gave her an amethyst for her birthday too? Nice. Did was it was it like received okay? Cause she looks like she likes the gemstones. That's that's all I'm gonna say. With her fancy house. Boop 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 boop. And then we are going to go super super salmon berry hunting. Because like Salmon berry season is bay. Oh, ooh. I don't think I upgraded. No, I didn't hit level four foraging yet. Bummer town. If I was to get level four foraging before, I think you still get the double berry harvest, even if it's not overnight. There's only very few level up things that will apply the day of, and I'm pretty sure that's one of them. But I'm probably wrong. And I can admit when I'm wrong. I just won't tell any of you. I just admit it to myself in the mirror. Like, you were wrong, Wickety. How dare you? I don't know. I'm just talking to myself. I mean, you're here too, but I'm talking to myself. You know, you know what I mean. Okay. She loves wine? Ooh. That's good. <laughs> Poodle potato. I'm going to draw a dog potato, I think. She'd like that. Maybe you'll trip over the forest sword while berry hunting. <laughs> that would be nice. I would like that. Uh, okay, let's go find some berries. Let's give this to the lady face and plant a few more seeds. I could totally plant these mixed seeds, but I kind of feel like um, I might want to save the mixed seeds for a later season because in summertime and in, um, what's it called? Fall time. Fall time, I can get artichokes from these. But in summertime, the... They're like higher value. Mm, yeah, I want some parsnip seeds. Let's sell a couple of things. It's Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Let's sell all of these silver potatoes and half of those. Yeah, that'll be good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Money. Hmm. <laughs> I just need a few more gold star parsnips. And then we'll be golden with that. And then we could do a little bit of of some stuff. I know what I'm saying. We can do some things. Salmon berry season? Yes, that. <laughs> I don't know, Rick. I don't even know half the time what happens. It's just like, yeah, it happened. Did it happen in a fish fishing chest, right? Oh, I'm too far away from level four to get this today. So we're just going to get single... Bummer. We're just going to get single salmon berries. Oh, what's this? This is new. Good day, wickedy woo. <laughs> I like forcing people to call me wickedy woo. <laughs> I bet you feel ridiculous saying it. Me too. What's up? What's up, buddy? Morris promised Jojo would clear away this rock slide by now. Susan is trapped at home. Not Susan! Now she's telling me the cleanup operation is delayed until... Er oh, my gosh. Your hands are tied. I don't want to know about your... Your things, Louis. <laughs> Please, keep that to yourself. It's you and Marnie. Um... Morris and I will reach a resolution regarding the rock slide. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, okay, so this is nice. It adds like a little explanation why that happens. 
Must be on my way. Don't bother using your pickaxe trying to remove these rocks. It would take you months. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> oh, the, the trees. So there is a... A Pokemon in each of these? No, not really. Uh, I wish. Um, this is the one of the mods that I installed is a wind effects mod. It is so cool, but it also kind of freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. All right, what is our... So if I mouse over... Uh, foraging 50... Uh, 530, okay. I was gonna say, if I had spent some time chopping some trees, we'd be getting double berries right now, and I did not do that. So don't listen to me. I make mistakes, it's okay. <laughs> well, not mistakes. It's not the most important thing, but it's something that I always suggest that if you can, try and focus on getting your foraging up to level four before the 15th so that when you're collecting salmon berries you can get double berries everywhere um and if you do that ooh, hello mushrooms i'm gonna eat you Ooh, not to not just yet but when we'll go to the mines uh there she is hey buddy i feel like he's kind of snooty too i don't know why but I feel like if I was to give him a potato, he'd be like, what's this? If I was to give him a flower, he'd be like, why do you hate me? Oh, uh, yeah, I was right. <laughs> Victor, it's a flower. Come on. Whatever. Snooty McSnooterton. <laughs> you think Jazz or Shane knew it? Probably. Or, I don't know, Shane probably saw something, but he was kind of two sheets to the wind at the time and just didn't know what he that he saw, what he knew he saw, what he didn't know he saw, you know. And Jazz is using it as blackmail. So she can e get extra TV time, you know. Seems like a thing she would do. She's the nicest little creepy kid ever. Trash! Trash, come on, trash. Ooh, a seed, wow. <laughs> Hi, Serena, how's it going? Maru wants a red mushroom. I'll say yes, it's not gonna happen, but I'll say yes anyways. Okay, we've got, please take all of these things. You're gonna buy those and buy those. Why am I selling them to you? We need parsnips. For the gold stars, I don't know how many I need because I wasn't paying attention. Um, let's get a few cauliflower seeds just for fun. Um, ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. Oh yeah, the 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 moving trees are not Pokemon. I just feel like they are. It's um, it's a mod. It was just wind. <laughs> There's no Burmese in the. The trees. Okay, well, let's get some cauliflower for fun. 10, 15, that should be fine. And now I'm broke, yay! Oh, you know what I should have done? <laughs> I should have got some money and gotten a backpack. That would be nice. Why did I become a farmer? Because the game was on sale. <laughs> no, it's more real than living in the city. I am not, dr I'm not drinking wine. I'm drinking water. Water and as I like to call it, um, angry water. This is a uh, Morello cherry and pomegranate sparkle water. If it's sparkle water, we call it angry water because it's got some bite. <laughs> I stole that from the um, Hydro Homies subreddit though, I think. Huh. And now I broke. Yay! <laughs> I was trying to do some testing for a, a playthrough that I thought was really fun for myself. Um, that we did on stream last time. Where I couldn't make any money from anything other than cooked stuff. Broke all the time. Oh my gosh. It was horrible. But like in a good way bad, you know? If that makes sense. When I finally started making money, it was very satisfying. It's like, yay! I can do something with my life. Don't know what, but something. It's one o'clock. Um, 
We're mostly just gonna see if there's any spring onions that I can like eat and get the best breath ever. Oh my gosh, some spring onion flavored toothpaste is all I need. Okay, and that's full, cool. You love angry water? Yeah. <laughs> there should be, uh, there really should be like a, a brand of people who make sparkle water and call it angry water and I would probably buy it. I'm that type of person. I'm an impulse buyer based on, I, uh, there's a lot of things that I get that are completely based off of um, <laughs> the label. Okay, so we have no space. We're just gonna, we're gonna spring onion all of this. Ooh, the new East Forest, that would be good. I, I forget that we have like this huge expansive area. We're gonna spring onionify everything though. Boop. And then I might eat that horseradish. Yeah, that's gonna be way too many things that I need to grab in order to level up today. But maybe after tomorrow, we'll be getting our, our wood axe. Um, we can chop a few stumps. I'll be able to level up that day. And, um, yeah, save the, the salmon berries for after that. You're t totally buy things based on packaging? Yeah. Same. Okay, let's, uh, get rid of this. Bye. I want this leek. Hey, leek. Oh, it's so great. I need to come here for foraging all the time. All the time. Where are these bushes? I could totally take a screenshot, but I don't know if I want to. Look at this. Hey, you. Um, maybe they're just along the edges. And I'm just not seeing them. Alright, let's take a screenshot and take a peek. The little peekaboo and see if there's any... Um, any salmon berries? I'll have you guys look at this with me. See if there's any salmon berries around. Oh my gosh, this place is expansive, y'all. Look at that. Where even am I? I spy me right here. Okay. Um, it looks like there aren't any salmon berry bushes right now, but there's some person. Is that that one guy? Maybe this area doesn't really have salmon berries. But we'll grab that horseradish. It was it was definitely a good idea to check, though. I think, for sure. Because if there was, it would be absolutely worth it. I'll minimize that. You love the green hue? I know, right? Okay. Oh, it's just you. It's just Andy. Andy. Good day. What is Andy like? Do you like... Ooh... No, I don't think he likes that. I don't think he's gonna like forage. He's not a Linus. He's like a, he's probably like a, a man Pam. Does that make sense? <laughs> probably likes all the stuff. Oh, go into the old house? Ooh, let's do that. Thanks, Hell Signs. Wait, there's an actual sword? <gasps> I'll toss some stuff if I need to. Let's go in here. There's stuff to explore. I have such a habit of just like, we gotta go do stuff. <gasps> Hello, doll. Toss this fiber. Oh, that's creepy. Hi, why is there a random doll in here? You like salmon berries? Ooh, okay, thanks. That's his jam and his jelly? I guess I will give him something. Is there anything specific I'm looking for in here? Like, I don't want to throw something away so that I can grab the um, newspaper. It looks like it, it's just trash, right? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Spite- Ew! No! Georgia. Okay, it looks like it might be Andy's like little place. Is that a note over there? It looks like a note. Aurora Vineyard. Blah, 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 blah. Do the do the market. 
crash. Starting Valley something the uh, blah, 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 blah. news of Trom Bear Lewis bad guy redacted. Okay, from Grample. So something from Grample. There is a basement. Ooh, left, bottom, right, bottom, right. Oh, look at that. Okay, cool. We'll definitely have to do some more exploring here. Let's give Cranky Cranks, um, uh, if he likes forage, he probably likes this horseradish, right? Let's give him a gold star horseradish. Horseradish. Right? Yes? Yes. You married Victor once. He gave me money. A gold bar. Oh, thanks. <laughs> can you imagine that? So, uh, Gus is like, hey, what can I get you? And you're just like, I'll take a beer, please. He's like, okay. And you just grab a gold bar and just whop right on the bar. <laughs> That's uncomfortable. Like, as a bartender, I would be down with it, but I'd also be like, thank you for the tip. Now you still gotta pay. <laughs> Does Andy like the horseradish? Let's see. That ain't bad. Okay, cool. He's like, yeah, I'm down with it. So I'm told that we need to go explore to the furthest reaches of this area, right? Furthest reaches. Ooh, look at that over there. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Furthest reaches of this world. There is something over here. Oh, goodness. Look at this, you guys. Gasp. Let's eat this horseradish. Oh, I didn't see any of that. There's some super secret ancient swords, forest swords, leak and leak. Yeah, and there's mushrooms too, but like my pockets are full. Oh, yay. You know what I'm going to do? That's worth 50 gold. We're just going to toss it. Like, bye. <laughs> Wish it was possible to, to like type what you want to say to the NPCs. That would be kind of fun, huh? It does sound like a lot of work, though. We're gonna grab these mushrooms. Ooh, I hope this is a regular, a good, a gold star one. It's not. Um, <laughs> you know what? Let's just eat this gold leek, and then our energy is gonna be so full, like in a good way, right? Now I'll grab that mushroom, cause I I got some leeks at home. Oh, I need that backpack upgrade so bad. <laughs> no idea. Well, I'm sure you guys, you know. Oh, there's a thing here. Eat. <laughs> I'm just eating my feelings and, and my inventory space. <laughs> I feel like I lost. I'm lost. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? I gotta plant my seeds. Oh, there's a sword. Cool. Oh, there's a leak. Cool. <laughs> Am I going the right way? <laughs> Your screen is so blurry. Oh, I'm sorry. I think this is the correct way out of the woods. Then again, who knows? This place is huge. Um, yes. <gasps> yes, we made it. Bye, Andy. I hope that horseradish was delicious. We liked it. it. Makes me see if we can get just a couple more salmon berries and get these seeds into the ground before bed. I also kind of want to see if there's any forage. Oh, Jessica, yeah, I'm sorry. It, it can. It's kind of um. It's a struggle getting it to work with some of the other issues. The UI info suite is probably my favorite one that right now, but I'm a huge fan of like utility sort of mods, things that just like visually make things easier for me. Nothing that makes things too cheaty though. Ugh, so great having this sword. It's gonna be very helpful. Let's get these planted. Ooh, no, let's do these ones first. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, that many numbers and stuff. And then I'm going to actually That's kind of cool though that we had the um ancient swords and a doll. I'm gonna have to make another box once we get this wood. No, I got enough wood for another box. Yeah, let's go to chest one and I actually need to rename this. We're gonna make this forage. Okay, and um, even though my crops are in there right now, it's just gonna be forage here soon. And then I keep my crops in a separate one or just sell them and things like that. Um, I need to have a chest for all of my minerals and things. And I keep my minerals and whatever in one area with um, all of my bomb stuff. Well, not my bomb stuff, but my combat stuff and my donatables until it's time. This is supposed to be green. This one is not supposed to be green. You're just regular. You're basic. And then this one is either, if it's a combat box, I do red. If it's a gem box, I do purple. And so I just do one or the other until I have them separated a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Now, we need to grab this and maybe, oh, I don't need to eat anything. <laughs> My energy is so full. Ah, it's great. We need to plant 15 plus 5, so 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Three, four. There we go. <laughs> kind of stared it like that. <laughs> Make it do its thing. Okay, um, do we want to put some more um b -b 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 fertilizer on a couple of things? Yeah, I guess so. I mean I made it, so what else am I gonna use the sap for? I don't have like the sap bundle. We are doing regular bundles on this farm. Da, 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 da. Um, renaming a separate mod from the mod for chess. Um, no, it's, it should just be part of the chess anywhere mod, I think. I think. I'd have to double check. But yeah. No, yeah, it's part of the chess anywhere because you can hide this if you want, like not to be able to have access from it and everything. Let's get just a little bit of water. I kind of want to light this place up just a little bit better, too. Mm, maybe something I'll do off stream is just um, open up a, a screenshot of the farm and stare at it for like 15 hours and be like, OK, what am I doing with this? Let's find a regular layout. But that's honestly what I do with all of my farms. <laughs> I, I usually just like try and figure out what I'm doing with it and it feels good knowing that you have an idea of what you're doing. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Like have a nice like glass of wine or a cup of coffee. Sit, stare at the screen and be like, yeah, that goes there. Yeah, that goes there. And then you just never get around to doing it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, and now I'm tapped on sack. That's the phrase. We're completely tapped on all of this sap. I don't think there's really anything else to do with that. Okay. Just one sap to go. Bloop. <laughs> for the stage two barn. Oh, uh, so the first for building. Oh, I have a reference sheet. Um, If Bacon wants to throw down a link to my references, but I can show you what you need. Bloop. 52. So I made this little sheet because I constantly forget everything that I need for stuff. And someone had pointed out that I had a couple of mistakes, so I fixed them. Stop it. But to make the big barn, you need 12,000 gold, um, 450 wood, and 200 stone. So that first, and then you can go to stage two barn. Oh, that sounds weird. Stage two barn. <laughs> uh, bu -bu -bu. Or if we just do command link. Oh, uh, oh, there you go. Thanks, Bacon. Um, yeah, that's that. You have 48 mods installed, that's all. Your poor computer. <laughs> oh, poor computer. 
Did I miss a crop? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Where are you, crop? Where are you? Six. Well, it looks like maybe it was just the lighting. It looks okay to me. Oh, is it that one? Oh. Yeah, I think it was just the lighting. <laughs> Layout of these sheets is so satisfying. <laughs> Thanks. You want to save 500 wood and 300 stone? Yeah. All right, let's go to bed, I suppose. I'm working on setting up something with um, my brother on making things easier for people. Um, on my site and everything and uh, giving better references to people because I use them a lot and I want them to be a little bit more easily accessible and easy to use so it's just going to take some time to develop that when that's ready it'll be great we have okay so I could go to bed I have just like a smidgy bit of time which is about a little bit of time Let's see if we can catch anything. Probably not. <laughs> hey, patience. How's it going? Oh, yeah. Google isn't going to direct you to my website all that much because I have not set up any SEO on there. <laughs> At all. <laughs> oh, a fish. Hey, fish. Oh, a treasure chest. Hey, treasure chest. Come on, be something that isn't bait. Iridium band, maybe? <laughs> nah. Oh, wow! A geode! Can I get one fish? It's nice that I can catch a bream here. I mean, every little bit of money is a little good um, bit of money. Um, I'm going to stop at 140 because I am not going to pass out again. She says to nobody. <laughs> I say that, but it's not true. <laughs> Maybe it's true. It's probably true. Fish. Oh, I didn't um end up saving that. Or no, this is this is like uh miney stuff. Oh, I can't do space with this stupid thing. Mine Z. There. Well, not with the stupid thing. The animation cancel when I hit spacebar when I'm typing. It puts R in for some reason, which is super great. Luckily, I don't really have to do a whole lot of typing um, in this. So, yay! Look, bedtime one fifty. Great. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, and I leveled up. Yay! But not in foraging. So we got to do that tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I guess underscore is a thing. Lavender, I have a ton of st like, I have a huge problem. Uh, one of the issues with like, attention deficit disorder <laughs> is that I have so many projects that I want to start up and I want to do and I start them. But then I get a little overwhelmed because I get way too excited about starting things. And so I'm learning to pare down. And then I get so overwhelmed that I don't do anything. <laughs> it's just my problem. So working on it I'm gonna get better because I want to get better and that's the most important part right uh, all right it's a Tuesday my cup X is ready yeah you can absolutely level up many skills um there's some days where I can level up th three I I've had like three fishing level ups in one day um you can do a farming and a fishing in the same day. It just depends. But I like to kind of space my level ups and, and level up strategically, if you know what I mean. Because if you um, stay out really late, then you wake up the next day with like a um, def deficit in your uh, energy bar. But if you level up the previous day, then you wake up with full energy. So if I was close to leveling up, like I'm really close to combat leveling up right now, I could use that today and know that tomorrow I'm going to wake up with full energy if I don't level up any other way. You know? But if I was to level both of them up yesterday, then that's a time that I can't use it for another day. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Pierre wants to give me fertilizer. That stinks. 
boop. Um, what is Rick looking for? I have a bot that has it set up so that, um, what is it? I think links get blocked. Unless it's me or Bacon sending it. So if you let me know, I could probably get it for you. Ooh, I love the breeze in the crops. Da, 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 da. It'll be nice when we can get some more sprinklers here. Okay, so it's kind of bad luck. Hmm. Do I want to do mines today? We're gonna, oh no, we're gonna get our ax and we're going to chop some stuff. And I want to level up my foraging today if I can. Oh, struggling with the video quality? Oh, okay. I don't know how to allow you to do that. I I'm still kind of new to the, the YouTube streaming thing. Da, 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 da. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I like these trees. Oh, bye, Rick. Have a good rest of your day. Um, what do I? When do I start streaming? I uh, I know I'm doing it definitely on Sundays now. I'm trying to do it around this time, around one o'clock um, Pacific Standard Time, because I work pretty late on Saturday nights. So it gives me a little bit of time to kind of like wake up, get a cup of coffee, and then another cup. That's what I'm starting with at the moment. And then um, I'm gonna work on having some more days throughout the week scattered as I start working less and less, like not on YouTube, out in the real world, I guess. I guess YouTube's kind of the real world in a different way. It's more like reality TV than real stuff. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Murray Crow. All I know is my YouTube's... I try and keep very close attention to the quality that my OBS and my YouTube is saying everything. They're saying that the quality is excellent. But you never know, like sometimes I feel like it lies to me. Just wants to make me feel good about myself. They're like, oh, your stream is excellent. I'm like, oh, <laughs> thanks. Oh, wait, you're just talking about my internet connection, not me. <laughs> Whatever, if I can find a compliment in something, I'm gonna take it. Okay, and now we're completely tapped. wood. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do some choppy choppies and uh, yeah. Oh, hey Zons. How or, <laughs> Hey, hey Zons. Uh, 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 how's it going? Yeah, YouTube is just weird in general. Like, I don't think they understand themselves very well. The, the type of the type of business that tries to be everything and nothing at the same time they're like yeah we can do everything we're gonna do one thing really good and everything else just kind of good and just hope that it works and then if if all else fails we just we have something to to back up on which is just YouTube <laughs> um I don't have money for stuff but I can I kind of want to see so we are level five of fishing already so I can start selling all these extra fish Ooh, catfish is worth so much they can sell these herring that's 222 it's Tuesday so Willie should be um at his place 
So we'll sell any of the ones that are not bundly fish. I should have just sold them overnight, but I wasn't thinking. I'm going to save this fried mushroom for another time. Um, and then I could make some packs. I haven't gotten the recipe from Caroline yet, did I? Did I get the recipe for the tea sapling and I just wasn't paying attention? That's right. Okay, so we can make some tea saplings to sell for some money. What am I? I can make two tea saplings. Never mind. We need some wood. <laughs> like, real bad. Uh, in order for me to start making some money, I need some wood. I'm going to throw these in here real quick. Make a seed pack. Like that. We're going to go bloop. Craft that. Craft this. No. Craft this. Two tea saplings. Cool. And do that and then grab my fish. Okay, so we can sell those two tea saplings. That's a thousand bucks. And sell these fish. And yeah, we'll absolutely have enough to get a backpack then. Yeah, pick up the wood axe is a priority. Um, I kind of want to also make a pickaxe, but I don't think I have the, the copper for it right now. Yeah, I only have three copper. But I can I can sell those fish, sell that. And then we should have enough. And I could do some donations, but um like I don't really have the space for it. Maybe we'll drop that off. Drop that off and grab three things. We'll grab that and that and two amethysts so I can give one to Clint. Yeah. Oh, my stomach says no, but I say yes. And then we'll grab some salmon berries on the way too. Oh, look at all this forage. We'll come back for you, I promise. Oh, that's a lot of forage. What? One, two, three, four, five. That's five on one screen. Wow. That's lucky. Oh, thanks, Ben. <laughs> you look through over 10 YouTubers. What were you looking for? I'm always curious what people are looking at. <laughs> Dimitri still wants crabs. Or <laughs> wants me to destroy the rock crabs. Because I didn't follow through last time. They're just like, hey. Hey. Weren't you going to do that thing? And I'm like, yeah, I was. But now I'm not going to. Check the bushes on the way to the tunnel. Okay, I'll have to do that. I think we need to sell a couple of things. Get a little bit of space. <laughs> Cut off Marnie. Man, I'm horrible. Oh, this one. I do need a chub for a bundle. Yeah, but chubs are super, super easy to catch. So I think it'll be okay. Uh, ahem. <laughs> Morris. <laughs> Are you playing City Skylines? That's nice. Oh my gosh. There's this guy that lives down the road from me. And he has like... A lot of different vehicles. I think he has more vehicles than he has doors in his house. And um, they're all very loud. <laughs> he's got a motorcycle. He's got this truck that's like taller than two of me. <laughs> yeah. I can't match those prices. I'd be selling them at a loss. Oh, Gamer Gar. Hi, how's it going? Welcome in. Soon the whole town will realize that. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, Morris. Me. <laughs> oh, that's true. I always forget. Thank you. Too fitty. Look at them in their little workout clothes. They look so cute. Emily looks adorable, but she also looks like someone's auntie. Auntie Emily. There's a thousand. Okay, I'm 500 short. Let's go sell these fish. I got time. That was fine. Yeah, we got the time. Oh, Lewis, go away. Go away, go away, go away, go away. I got to look at these things. I got to look at the trashes. Oh, I already looked at them. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I wish I knew. I just keep up to date. Uh, Charles Moon. I keep up to date with... Um, concerned ape on his twitter he's very good about trying to keep people up to date with what's going on hi with him i know that they're having some issues um 
with it. It's more of like the, not so much the games, like the politics of it or, or something. I don't know. But I know that it's a huge focus of his, like, or so he has mentioned on his Twitter. I'm gonna sell, 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 and yeah, I'll sell the chub. Sure, why not? Oh, nice. Welcome in, Addy. Feel free to lurk. Lurking is... It's what I do all the time. I love to lurk on people's streams. Like, people, uh, there's a lot of people that probably don't realize that I'm watching them. But I just, like, I like to listen to people while I'm doing other stuff. So it makes me feel less alone, especially with my work. If I work really late and eh, no one's around at nighttime, it kind of helps me. Because all the kids are asleep and stuff like that. Let's donate to museum. But when using chess anywhere, leave a chess in the community. Oh, that's smart. Nani, that's so smart. I, sh I should do that. I always put the dolls over here because they're always so creepy. So I want them as far away from me as possible. <laughs> that's not just me, right? <laughs> what did we get? What's our reward? Melon seeds for summertime. All right, I'm going to go grab my axe. And then we're gonna go get our backpack, yeah. I probably should have gotten the backpack before the ax, honestly, but oh well, whatever. And then we can get some more salmon berries. And I can stop stressing out so much about like tossing stuff or shoving things in my mouth because I don't have space for things. Okay, we'll go over to the heir's place. I kind of want to say hi to Morris since we're here. Hey, buddy. How are you, friend? Da, 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 da. You need cheap... Yeah, you're a cheap seed. <laughs> that was such an insult. I'm sorry. You're a cheap seed. I don't know what that means, but it means a thing. <laughs> hey, buddy. How are you? Claire has the day off, huh? Huh, Martin? There's little freckles. Those little freckles are so cute. Yeah, uh, yeah. So in this um in this playthrough or in this um this mod, the seeds are actually cheaper at Joja Mart than Pierre's. So I could have totally bought those seeds here yesterday, but Joja's all the way over here and I kind of forget they exist because like I'm wired to think that they don't exist mentally. <laughs> Like, Joja is bad. I can't Joja. But I do anyways. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, thanks, Loba. Yeah, feel free to lurk. We like, love the lurkies here. <laughs> I like to... I like to lurk. Du -du 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 -du. I actually made a, a lurk emote, but I can't find it. <laughs> da -da -da. Here it is. Lurk! <laughs> I'm not a cheap seed, I'm funny. <laughs> oh, guys, it's Sunday. Remember, pun day Sunday. All the puns. If you got them, hit me with it. <laughs> Only Jojo on Wednesdays? That's smart. Okay, so we've got some pockets. Pockets for days. I'm going to put those down here. Oh, I brought that amethyst to give to, to Clint, and I'm like, forgot. <laughs> He'll, he's fine. We'll friend up Clint later. Not that I need to, but I guess I could. He's a nice guy. <laughs> oh, the little box, the cat in the box, that's so cute. Okay, can we get how many? We have a hundred and forty XP that we need to get in order to level up. So let's see. That would be about ten. Um, just a couple points over ten trees. So if we can chop ten trees total, we'll level up our foraging and be able to get double berries. Or less than ten if we... Um, harvest these so if we get some forage so 
Chopping a tree will give you 12 experience points, and then the stump will give you one. So 10 trees would be 130 experience, which is great. I'll probably just chop trees around the farm, honestly. Um, I just wanted to go up to the backwoods and see if there's any forageables up there because they are seven experience points piece. So two of those is going to be uh, approximately a tree. I know there was one. I know there's bushes there. I'm going to come back for it. But I, I wanted to grab these first and get as much of the no energy harvestables as possible. Let's say, hey, hi. Hey, buddy. Uh, do we have any gold? Yeah, let's give him this gold one. This is for you. Yeah, I'm such a good friend. What did the fish say when he ran? <laughs> Lavender. <laughs> uh, who's the best to marry? Um, Honestly, Charles, it just depends on your personal preference. A lot of people like various different reasons. I, I don't think I could choose any one specific person for any one specific reason. I know that I like different people for different reasons. Like there's some people that are super hardcore Haley fans. I've never been a fan of it because um, uh, she reminds me of some people in real life. Not not her personality, just like her physical appearance, and I'm just not about that. <laughs> so, um, but, and then there's Abigail. Some people just really love Abigail, and she is all right. I love Emily. She, she tends to be the one person that I marry because she's kind of, like, quirky. And, um, I guess I've always been a huge fan of, like, the manic pixie dream girl sort of situation <laughs> and she's who I think of with that <laughs> but um I've mentioned this in streams before and on other things before like I choose people based on what they bring to my house not on who they are as a person oh my gosh I gotta have this level up oh no <laughs> like I uh, what I like about Emily is that she brings in a like a sewing room into the house after you marry her so that's usually why I choose her I used to love like I loved Shane for a little bit because I like a good fixer upper but um his room is just so like it ruins the aesthetic of what I'm trying to do with my life right and so I usually just divorce him or just don't marry him at all <laughs> oh hey Nani this is my first time playing through the expanded so I am learning a ton. Luckily, I have a few people in chat that know a little bit more of what they're doing. So they're kind of like um, helping me out without spoiling things, which is really nice. Right now, I'm trying to get... I've got a couple more trees left to get this level up. If I can get a level up, I can start getting like double berries from these bushes. We'll definitely be able to get it tomorrow. Um, Haley, I think she just brings her, she has like photography and that's pretty cool. She brings a, a very cutesy room, which is fine. And then she hangs out outside and takes um, photos and stuff like that, which is fine. That's, that's good. Oh, we just need two more experience points and then we'll hit this level up, you guys. Yeah, Shane's room is awful. Like, I feel He's one of those people that I feel bad marrying because he seems to make such good progress with his personal story and everything. And I feel like, yay, level up. After he gets married to me, he just like backslides into comfortability of like doing nothing with his life or whatever. Even with the, the 14 heart event, which I won't go into spoilers for people who haven't seen it. It just feels, it doesn't feel um, like there's been a... a a long-term improvement if you know what I mean okay so we have a lot a good amount of wood we have that level up which is good so I'm gonna go grab just like a few um, a few whoa, salmon berries see if I can get some doubles um, what I am gonna do uh, some of you know I have made like a whole video about making tea saplings for a really good early profit. Ooh, I want to save that in here. So what you do is um, once you get with Caroline and get her to level two um, of hearts, you can get the tea sapling unlocked, which is fantastic. Um, 
And then craft tea saplings, these sell for 500 gold a piece, which um, can give you a huge boost of money early. And I kind of want to buy a bunch of sprinklers, so I was thinking of making these. Like, it did a whole thing about it, but the only, the only major issue is that it takes wood and fiber, and fiber isn't something that you can buy. Like, even if you were to buy the wood for it, you would still make more money just by selling it, um, selling the tea saplings. Like, it would be worth it, but you can't buy fiber without, like, some late, late end game stuff, right? So, I'm just gonna do that. How many can I make? And then, yeah, an extra ten. I don't want to use all my wood. I could, but this is going to be, this stack right here, that's 9,000 gold right now that I just made from wood that I picked up today and fiber that I've been, like, stocking up on. And then spring seeds, and that's all it is. It's pretty crazy. It's like, I feel like it's a little off balance, but I still do it anyways. <laughs> uh, you're grinding saplings even when you're in the end game. I know, I do it too. Like, um, I have this one farm on my Switch where all I have left is getting 10 million gold. And I've been like stocking up on so much stuff, like just growing a bunch of fiber seeds. That really helps a lot, having the fiber seeds. Five, let's do four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. I like saving the higher quality stuff in case I need them for anything. And then we can make, we'll do 10. One, two, and even 30. Oh, that bothers me. Three. I like my seeds being like in packs of 10. There we go. That should be good. Haley gave you hash browns this morning and her room is very islandy. Oh yeah, she's a very islandy stuff. Ryan asks me how I like the expanded. So far I really like it. Yeah, I have gotten lost a little bit and I feel like a little mentally lost, but that's just who I am as a person, <laughs> not just not just the expanded playthrough. Uh Oh, hey, Spiritual Coffee, fellow witch. Thank you. Appreciate that. Love the fellow witchies. You love getting mixed seeds now because of, I know. Like, before, I used to kind of just, like, sleep on uh, mixed seeds. And now it's just, like, I'm obsessed with having mixed seeds because I need them. I need, like, I don't want to plant them. I need them for things. Okay, so it's 830. I'm going to sell all of these tea saplings. Look how much money this is going to be. This is 16,000 gold, guys. <laughs> Just ridiculous. Uh, like I said, it feels it feels very unbalanced. And I feel bad, but also, like, I want my money. <laughs> like, it feels like an exploit. I know it's not an exploit, but there's other things that I feel like I should be doing to make money, but I like it. <laughs> so I'm going to use it whatever I'm gonna go find some salmon berries you can buy fruit trees yeah so between mushroom tree mushroom cave and fruit cave they're both really good see that's when it sorry I'll get back to that in a moment but see we leveled up to level four of foraging even though we don't have the level up from sleeping so most things like selling the cost of selling fish or being able to craft specific things don't happen until after you wake up the next day like you have to have the level up screen happen but the double berry thing is not one of those things which is really nice so as we sleep it's going to tell me that i get double berry drops from level four because that's one of those things that if I was to eat something, like, um, I think, what was it? The If I was to have, say, a survival burger that gave you a plus two to foraging, if you were at level four of foraging from that, because you were only at level two, you would still get the double berries. So if I was able to eat something to get me to level six of four, I think it's level six, six or seven of foraging, I'd be able to get triple berries. So that, the double drop, is based on what your level is at the time, not based on the, like, actual level up, which is, if that makes sense. The swords you sold are a favorite gift for... Ooh, nice. That's good to know. Oh, yeah. So we were talking about mushrooms and bat cave, right? And so they're both um, 
really good for various different reasons. Um, I feel like the mushroom cave, the thing that I don't like about that is go having to go and grab stuff every day. You don't have to, but in order to make the most out of it, you have to go in and grab your stuff every day, right? Whereas with the fruit cave, the bat cave, you can kind of just let things build up a little bit, which is nice. Um, one of the things that's nice about the fruit cave is that you can get some good stuff for the community center without having to buy super expensive um, uh, tree saplings for earlier. So you'd be able to get the greenhouse done earlier that way. Um, but you, you're not always guaranteed the fruit that you're looking for. Um, I tend to, anytime that I get the bat cave, I tend to get a ton of foraging fruit, not so much the tree fruit. Sometimes it takes me a really long time. I almost never get enough apples for the fodder bundle. So I have to plant an apple tree and a pomegranate tree anyways. Um, it's really nice that you can get higher quality fruit as you level up your foraging. So if I was to have level 10 foraging and I had, I believe it's called botanist, um, I'd be able to get like iridium quality, pomegranates, apples, all the stuff that we pick up from there, which is fantastic. But at the same time, like um, you would just want to sell that or are you going to process it? If you process it into wine or jelly, it's going to be the same either way for you, right? Because quality doesn't affect your processing quality, if you know what I mean. So um, I think the reason why I like the mushrooms cave the most is I can turn the fall... With, with the fruit cave, you can turn like um, spice berries into summertime seeds, which is awesome. But with the mushroom cave, you can get uh, turn the fall time seeds or turn the mushrooms into fall time seeds, which I use for my tea saplings. Uh, and also, I just really love fall seeds because you get a lot of hazelnuts and other things, too. Um, anyways, since you get so many common mushrooms, I just kind of feel like it's definitely worth it. To go mushrooms but that's just just for me personally like there's pros and cons to both it's kind of annoying having to go to the cave every single day <laughs> in my opinion but oh thanks thanks little gamer legend you have a good one thanks i will give my kids hugs and stuff i'll probably be on for another hour my streams usually run about an uh a three hour time frame Yeah, fruit does make really good gifts, though. Um, the pomegranates are loved, and a couple of the other ones. No one loves cherries, but you'd really think someone would love cherries. Well, no one in the regular game. I think someone in, in Expanded loves cherries, but I'm going to go to bed so that I don't... Like, honestly, 1 o'clock feels way too early for me, and I will be going to bed. But let's just chop just a couple of these. Uh, hope you didn't mind my like uh rant about about the caves i was thinking of doing like a whole video about that because um some of it is like um gone through in a lot of different like fruit cave versus mushroom cave thing but some of the stuff that people haven't really gone into i don't know i don't want to do stuff that's been overdone though hey cat it's 120 so early for me. <laughs> Yay, level up. And what was that other noise for? Does that Oh, that that's because I made money. So now we're going to get the cave unlocked. Okay. So, yeah, we got the plus 1 to berry harvesting. So that was something that we were able to use um before the level up screen and the plus proficiency, I do believe is something that's also you get it right when you are level up not during the um sleep screen the sleep screen is just like the stuff you get is the lower stuff cherries are a super fruit <laughs> yeah the cherries are good do you know how many farms you have perfected oh me personally i have about four farms perfected i have one farm that i perfected on the last day of year two two because I really wanted to push myself and I did that on the switch too it was a lot of work but <laughs> it was fun it was just for myself for my own personal fun <laughs> 
I love challenges. I wish there was more like challenges that I could do that were shorter challenges, not challenges that I could do that take me like 40 hours to do, right? So look at all of our tea sapling money guys and those ancient swords. I wonder if they're gonna make me do something else with ancient swords, I don't know. Isn't that great though? So if you have not checked out my tea sapling video, <laughs> somewhere i didn't throw a link into that at all but i've got one and that goes through like it is it is crazy money i made over a million dollars in my first year just through tea saplings i mean i sold other stuff too but i didn't count that money i only counted the tea saplings it was great oh yeah of course ryan you only have one. oh don't worry about it heather i i have way too many hours i'm like at I'm at like 27, 2800. No, I'm close to running around 3000 hours in Stardew Valley. It's like, it's therapeutic for me. So that would be why. So just don't be, don't, don't do that. Oh, speed run, a uh, hat mouse one. Nice. Yay, we got the green horn. Wicked. And full energy, and it's going to rain tomorrow. Yes! I want to catch some catfish tomorrow, maybe. No birthdays, which is awesome. Um, Okay, so we have so much money. What are we going to spend all of this money on? I could totally get the last backpack upgrade. I could build a building. Oh my gosh, so many things. Uh... Oh, Nani, yeah. The fishing was a, a bit of a struggle. Like, uh, honestly, it took me forever to get that uh, octopus. But, um, yeah. I hate the octopus. It's like the bane of my fishy existence. I like all the other fish, except that octopus. <laughs> I like the legend more than I like the octopus. And I like the scorpion carp more than I like the octopus. Stupid octopus. <laughs> backpack? Yeah, I was thinking the backpack, too. Um, like to set up the cave to attract some local species. Alright, so mushrooms or bats, you guys. Oh, I can do a poll. Let's do this. I'll leave it up to you guys. Oh, let me uh, refresh this. We're gonna do a poll. You guys can choose mushrooms or bats. We can be Batman or or we can be uh, Mario. <laughs> I'm just going to wait until I have like at least like 15 votes. You think bats? You guys are so weird. What is wrong with you? No, I'm joking. <laughs> you guys like making me struggle. No, uh, no, bats is fine because then we'll get the fruit and I won't have to like uh, get trees and stuff. So that might make my community center a lot easier. I have not gotten any of the new Stardew Valley fish yet. So, and then I chose, uh, I chose the bat cave on my uh, Reuben uh, sandwich farm and I'm just like, why did I do this? Oh my gosh, bats. I guess it's fine. <laughs> fine. You guys just want to make me do bats because I don't do bats often. Maybe we'll get some good stuff. Okay, we'll get some good stuff. I'm gonna go with bats because that's what was voted for. Backpack sprinklers and save for some. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. I wonder how many tea saplings it'll take to get the desert unlocked. But getting some sprinklers will absolutely make my life so much easier. We're just going to go ahead and um, do some stuff. Let's drop these off. Drop that off. I can buy some more wood if we need to. Bats are cute even if you don't really see them. Yeah. Oh, Addy, it was your fault. No, I'm joking. <laughs> You're fine. Um... 
I, I prefer the mushrooms because uh, I just like mushrooms, the food, and I like being, I used to really love being able to make the life elixirs and then turning the common mushrooms into fall time seeds because if you do the tea sapling thing, fall time seeds, you get a ton of regular common mushrooms from the cave and fall time seeds, you can use those to turn into tea saplings, which makes like more money and more money. I just like money. <laughs> I feel like financially it's, you get more money from that. Oh, we want to get a coop going too, so we can have a dinosaur. Maybe. I need some wood. Okay, so it's still salmonberry season. I want to keep like doing some salmon berries. We can move Gertrude now that I'm done with the rice, right? Go away. Maybe instead of building like a coop, I should probably build a silo first. I don't think I have the stuff for the silo just yet because I need some copper bars. Where are you? Silo, five copper bars. Get there. I mean, I have the money, so it's fine. But we'll start with getting everything watered. Yeah, mushrooms are a really good energy source too. But if you get your... um foraging leveled up in the fall time high enough to be able to get three berries from the blackberry bushes then that's a really good source of energy too da, da, da. oh does it fruit bat is I, I didn't know that I thought that um picking up the fruit in the cave, if it's something that's found on the ground, um, it gives you foraging. But we'll see. All right, Lavender, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Mikey, you're good. Was it a good call on the hot links? The family loved it? Nice. You're gonna make tuna salad tomorrow. Um, sometimes I add sweet relish to my tuna salad. I like to add, um, I make a lot of deviled eggs and I like to add a little bit of celery salt into my tuna salads and my egg salads. I don't know, something about the flavor. Just, I really like it. Um... We use sweet relish for tuna salad. I don't prefer, personally prefer sweet relish. I like the, the not so sweet stuff. Hey, cat. Da, 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 da. How far am I on the switch year wise? Um, I think the longest or, or the oldest farm that I have on the switch is year five. I usually don't make it past year three to be honest with you. Because I just lose, like, my attention. My attention span can only last for three years on, on any one farm. Duh. Although I do have a, a, a playthrough on year seven, though. You like dill relish in yours? Yeah. I like bacon in mine. <laughs> But I like bacon in everything. Oh, this, um, spiritual coffee. This is actually a farm. It's called Grandpa's Farm. It's part of, it's the farm layout that comes with uh, Stardew Valley Expanded. I can show it to you. It's huge. It's ridiculous. But, like, in a good way. Let's, let me maximize this for you. So there's, like, secrets it shows you the way there's multiple paths to things this is where like the poofy spot is for when we poof here this goes to the backwoods there's the cave i gotta clean that up so i can access it a little easier i guess that'll that is good it's gonna be good that we don't have the mushrooms because if we have the fruit cave it'll just start building up for a little bit and i don't have to run over here and check every day so actually thanks guys I won't complain anymore. <laughs> we have the um, copper axe so I can clean up these stumps and we can access the, the greenhouse someday. And there's some stuff over here. And then you can actually hoe uh, all of these spots. Like anything that's green, usually in the normal game, you can't 
like hoe the the green stuff but you can hoe all the green stuff here too which is a little weird but kind of cool i know it's huge right and it's not even the big one like they have uh another farm layout that's giant and i was i just couldn't do it there's supposed to be some like fun story stuff going on in this i think there was 10 here but let me go ahead and do this Hmm, drop that off. Grab this. I'm gonna go buy that second backpack. If I hoe these spots, I will know that that's where we want to put sprinklers. So I can buy two sprinklers, maybe. But we'll definitely be able to be getting more, um, lots more stuff. If I want to really maximize what I'm doing, I'm going to want to get some more copper here soon. I like the money though. Do we want to get the copper taken care of today? I don't know if I have any more copper bars to be honest with you. Probably don't. Okay, let me think. Mm, backpack upgrade. Get a few more seeds. Get a couple of sprinklers. It's gonna rain tomorrow so I don't have to worry about that. Then we'll go mining tomorrow. Yeah. Uh-huh. We'll go mining tomorrow since it'll be raining or fishing tomorrow. And um, <laughs> just get a couple of seeds. Oh, salmon berry season still. We're still working on getting some salmon berries. Yeah, so far it's pretty fun. It's huge. It's like there's so much to it. I'm kind of scared of it, I guess. <laughs> well, not scared. It's just it can be a little overwhelming. That's that's for sure. Oh, I can't get to that one. I could if I had a chair, but... Yay! Bye, stumps. Bye, stump. Let's eat these. I actually like to give my gold star uh, spring onions to Linus sometimes. So this is where the greenhouse is now. And, uh... Whatever this once was, it's now in ruins. Just like my social life. <laughs> oh, I have no social life anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm not crying. Oh, hey, Gabby. How's it going? Thank you. I appreciate that. You've done perfection once and it was on accident. Oh, my goodness. You're almost done decor donating all the stuff for the museum and catching all the fish. Yeah, that can be that can be stressful. Just some things in the museum just take way too long. Because you can only find them very specific ways. Sometimes the, um, what's that? I think it's the prehistoric scapula. The scapula. That one can be hard to get um, because normally you can only get it in dig spots um, in the backwoods, in the bus stop sort of area. I think it's the backwoods, bus stop, and whatever. And now you can get it from like haunted skulls too, so that's good. Now that we have haunted skulls, anyways. Okay. Distracted. Salmonberry season. Do a poop, swoop around. Let's go grab. Um, I don't have the stuff to make a silo, but I can make something. Ooh, what are we gonna do? Because I'm going to have $7,000 to burn. And I can buy one sprinkler, I think. Because that's $4,000. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Maybe I'll work on getting some resources instead. Um, I play with the keyboard and mouse. Um, Sometimes I'll play with the other stuff. Like the a controller. It just depends on what game I'm playing. But for Stardew, I learned it on the keyboard and mouse, and that's what I'm comfortable with. And I've been a PC gamer for a really long time. Like, um, that's kind of how I started learning video games. Like, the old school, uh, what was it, Oregon Trail? <laughs> so, I started out my life as a PC gamer, and then a handheld gamer, like, uh, Game Boy Color and stuff like that. <laughs> I had the, the old Game Boy Color that was, like, purple and see-through-y so that's how I learned video games and then eventually I moved on to console but um I'm from a family of seven kids and so sharing a console wasn't wasn't ideal 
They were usually playing the console games and I was playing uh, games on the computer. All right, let's go get this. Oh, it's Wednesday. Stupid Wednesday. Always, always forget it's Wednesday. <laughs> uh, yeah, the seeds are cheaper at Joja. I just wanted a backpack. <laughs> Stupid Wednesday. Come on, Pierre. Come on. Oh, well. You recommend buying a fish pond? Putting high level fish? Yeah. Oh, what's going on? A cutscene ha- Georgia Mart? <gasps> so tired. Oh, it's for Claire. Can't keep- Oh, no Claire, no. Here, have some Red Bull or something. You, did you try to remind me? Sorry. <laughs> oh, I see it now. <laughs> Tara. <laughs> oh. I always... Whatever. Wednesdays is just the worst day of the week. <laughs> Welcome to Jojo Mart. Yeah, resting retail face. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. I want to. I want you to be my friend, Claire. Um, take this. Do you like flowers? Let's find out. Let's find out. Fly, find out. Claire, favorites, fruits, blah 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 blah. blah. Normal. Ah, oh, she's just like meh, whatever. Okay, we will figure out what you like someday. Like, I know what everyone else likes, but I don't know what she likes. I know that Morris does not like flowers, because I gave that to him on his birthday. It was a mistake. You recommend buying fish? Okay. We tried the training. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, you can definitely level up fishing and getting yourself up higher by collecting stuff from the fish ponds. Fishing the fish out doesn't give you any experience points, but collecting the, the things from the chum bucket does. So that is a good way to level up your fishing so that your bar stretches a little bit more so it'll be easier to, uh, to, to do stuff. Yes, milky kid. I am absolutely looking excited, uh, looking forward to haunted chocolate here. Uh, you can't uh, same Jessica. Oh, I, I like to play by myself though, <laughs> because I I have control issues. Um, is it's the set? Oh, so it's the seventeenth. Okay, so that means um, <laughs> this uh. Will help me determine whether or not we need um we can plant we can't plant a uh, cauliflower anymore unless I was to put speed grow on it right so no more cauliflower I can plant the other stuff maybe we'll just do kale or potatoes what do we want buh, 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 buh. let's do a little kale sure no, let's do potatoes. I like potatoes. Ooh, Claire loves green tea. Nice. And apricots and sunflowers. Good to know. I should make a updated loved gifts sheet for Stardew Valley Expanded because I have it for like the vanilla game, but I could make one for Expanded. It shouldn't be too difficult to fix that up. And that way I could have everything organized and keep track. And I am sure some people would really like that. Let's do like 20 potatoes. Wait, what do we call them? Patoodles? Patoodle seeds. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, he should he should check out my site if he needs that kind of stuff. I like I legit forget. Um, I know that I need to make um one of those sheets for what's it called? Agriculturist. Agriculture. For Christina Aguilera, we need to make one for. If you choose Christina Aguilera as your uh, profession instead of artisan, <laughs> that's that's what it's called, is the Aguilera. <laughs> but toodles. So if you decide to go with Aguilera instead of artisan, 
Um, <laughs> agriculturalist is what I'm trying to say, but I'm having a really hard time with words today. But um, everything grows 10% faster. And so um, that chart would not work for that. Even if you adjust things just a little bit. I'm looking for some semen berries, but we're not having much luck. Ah, oh, bummer town. There's some. Da, 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 da. Just, what are you guys down for? Oh, okay. You guys are hanging out. You, you guys are good. <laughs> Baby, are you down, down? Wait, is that Justin Bieber? I'm seeing Justin Bieber right now. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Certain words, like, trigger, trigger songs in my head. Also, I used to play this game when um, I worked with like a large amount of people um, where I would try intentionally to get songs stuck in people's heads because I'm a monster like that. It's so fun. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? Agro culture. <laughs> it sounds very toxic. So if you choose the toxic profession, <laughs> the agro culture profession, oh my gosh. I'm kind of bummed I couldn't get my backpack today. And now I just kind of feel like I wasted my day because it takes forever to walk everywhere. You know what we need is a freaking coffee bean. A coffee bean would be so great. Because if we can get some coffee, yo, I could like move some some faster. <laughs> oh, Sethero, welcome in. Thank you. Oh, yeah, the magic stuff will be good. You enjoy Rick rolling people. <laughs> yeah. Like we're the same. Bloop bloop. Wait, what time is a uh, lady faces place closed? She's there. I don't know when I can't go in there. I was gonna say I could probably pick up two sprinklers since I have some space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Six, seven, eight. Um, and that. I need to start working on getting a good setup of this with um how we're gonna do like sprinklers and such. Cause I hate having things set up and like not. And then just having to like hose stuff the next season. If we can have some good setup, we won't have to do too much hoeing next season. Well, some, but not too much. I hate hoeing on the first day of any season. <laughs> Stop it. Three. I'm just hoeing all these things I don't need to hoe. You like to troll people? <laughs> yes. Me too, Gray. Me too. I love your name. Gray is a good name. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, I think Olivia's is probably closed, to be honest with you. All right, 720. Um, <laughs> I didn't really get many salmon berries because I don't really know exactly where they all are right now. We're only at 68. Maybe we'll go to the bus stop real quick, see if there's any over there, man. There are a few bushes. Oh, oh, that's smart. Yeah. Where you usually find Lyasis. There's one playthrough that I have where, you know how people always ask you for stuff in the mail? Like, um, Marnie asks you for Amaranth. Uh, Demetrius asks you for, like, a melon. And then, of course, Robin and Linus want their basket and their their axe. There's one playthrough that I have where I didn't give anybody anything because I just felt like being just a terrible neighbor. I think I was a JoJo playthrough too. <laughs> and so I have this room in my house where I have collected everything um, that I need that people have asked me for and I just have them sitting on tables there you know on display. So what I actually call it <laughs> is my Rick Astley room because it's a, filled with a bunch of stuff that I'm just never going to give up. <laughs> That's what that made me think of that. <laughs> Some clay. 
Maybe there'll be some salmon fairies over by the adventurers <laughs> guild. I know, right? I feel I feel so bad. The the only one that I actually feel bad about not giving to people is the um the berry basket to Linus cuz Linus is my guy, you know. But I never feel bad about not giving the shorts back cuz whatever. Ooh, hey dig spot. What you doing? How you? It's a book. There's one right over there, but I don't want to go through the grass and be lazy. All right, so here is the Adventurer's Guild. Those of you who haven't seen this area, there's not really a whole lot of salmon berries here. I am just going to take a peek and see if I have any um, copper bars. Yeah, we got a couple. So that's great. Let's make two more. All right, yeah. And then this one, I had them uh, give me the mod so that I can just go straight to the normal entrance and I don't have to go all the way that way. You love to blackmail Lewis. <laughs> Wait, Charlie Bailey is doing a LP right now where she steals from NPCs. Oh, I saw one of those. So great. Like the, the thefting thing. I love it. There's something about playing games where you steal stuff from people. I know it's wrong, but I don't care. It feels so fun. <laughs> like anytime I play The Sims or anything like that, I'm always a klepto. It is, I don't know. The whole point of playing games is just to kind of play the part of you that you want to be, or no, not, not the part of you you wish to be, but the part of you that, you know, you repress sometimes to live out your fantasies, to live out your, your hopes and your dreams. And my hopes and dreams is to be a klepto, I guess. <laughs> not really. Don't tell anyone that. I don't steal. Oh, hey, except for that one. Like I never returned. I think I said this in Charlie Barley's stream is that I still have like a, a disc from the Netflix when they did the mailing stuff they used to mail CDs out and stuff I still have one of those <laughs> am I ever gonna give it back probably not do I need a uh, an episode of Herbie fully loaded with Lindsay Lohan probably not but I got it so <laughs> that's what it is too uh, I probably embarrass my son he's uh, 15 now but when he was younger he was obsessed with that movie it wasn't the Lindsay Lohan part. It was the cool car. Something cool about a talking car. You have a purple shorts on a sign in town? Perfect. If they really needed this stuff, they would have come for them. I know, right? Rude. Make a meet. Like, the scene when Marnie comes to your house and he, she's like, Oh, I want a cave carrot for all of my animals. 90% of the time, I get that cutscene. I have one literally on me at that time. If she had just waited for like five seconds, I could have given it to her. I wouldn't have to trek all the way to her house and just like throw it on the ground. I guess she likes ground carrots. Something about it, it tastes better for the animals. I don't know. Extra fiber. <laughs> In The Sims 2, you're making the sim, uh, making a sim that's a criminal. Yes, that's so great. Oh, hey, Pink Lover. Welcome in. Welcome. How are you doing? <laughs> Lewis is kind of fun to harass. Make sure you guys, uh, uh, if you have a slingshot and you don't ever use it, or if you do use it, you can load it up with salmon berries or eggs and shoot it at the, <laughs> at the villagers. <laughs> they hate it. They'll hate you. They won't like it at all, but... It's fun, <laughs> so you should do it. I do it with the salmon berry sometimes. Or to my ex-husband, like whenever I divorce Shane. It's what he deserves. And give him his eggs back. I don't know. <laughs> and then she's like, it's good enough to eat, I know. I guess Marnie prefers her food. Oh, I gotta pay attention to the time. Marnie prefers her food from the ground. Uh, don't pass out. We did not level up. Okay, 140, 140. Um, something I'm gonna do when I do go to Robin's is move this shipping bin over because I like to have it right by the house. I could absolutely make some more tea bushes, but I'm gonna wait. 
um, because I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Morris can become mayor. Oh my gosh, I hear that there's some like good JoJo content in this, and I was kind of like, I'm kind of tempted to go JoJo route. Like, I feel bad. I always feel like I'm doing something wrong when I do it. But also, like, it kind of makes the game so much easier. Oh. <laughs> Anyone that notices my ticking for the trash can gets hit with this explosive ammo. Like, why are they judging me? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I have slimes uh, hanging around town in one of my playthroughs, and they judge me when I go through my trash. Like, seriously, you're a slime. You don't, you can't, whatever. Shh, quiet. Don't tell no one. <laughs> yeah, I gotta figure out what Morris likes, too, so we can be friends. Marnie is just not around most of the week, like Monday or Tuesday or ever. Oh, it's Pam Alama's birthday. I've got some patoodles, but I think we'll give her a parsnip, even though... <gasps> Did I miss watering these? Oh, no. Okay, okay. I forgot. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, one of the things about the Stardew Valley Expanded is you get extra strawberry... You can get strawberry seeds from um, Andy or Man Pam from Andy here, he gives you strawberry seeds, and I was like, oh, they are ready, but what about my patch of 20 with the speed grow? Did I forget to water them? Which I know I can get three of this season. I totally forgot. <gasps> Money! Thanks! <laughs> oh, it's fine. Those are just, yeah, the slimes judge you. Like, I gave you life, slime. I let you live in this town with all of these people. Who are you to judge me? I'm your, like, literally your creator. I found your egg and I put it in the thing. I don't know. <laughs> Ignore me. Marnie closes at four on Friday. She's the worst. Ooh, Morris likes lobster bisque. <laughs> Robin's another one that's always not working when you need her. <laughs> she needs a Chick-fil-A. Oh my gosh. Well, it's cool that we got some strawberries, so if we want to friend up uh, Demetrius or Maru, that would be really helpful. They love strawberries. Okay, well, it's Pamela Anna's birthday. I know I have some parsnips planted. Those will be ready tomorrow. I need these for the, the quality crop bundle, but they're so quick to grow that I'm totally fine giving this one to Pam. And then that'll boost up some friendship with her. Maybe she'll give me some stuff, man. I need to go... I, I kind of want to do fishing, but I also like really need to go and get some mining done. So I think we're going to do that today and see if we can find anything exciting in the mines. I'm going to get that backpack upgrade and do we want to build a coop today? Oh, but I want to build a silo. Oh, stress. What do I want to do? You, you Stardew Valley got you to do the jo the expanded. Oh, yeah. Uh, pretty balanced. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, the first time I did the JoJo route, um, it was just for the achievement, and I made a farm specifically for that reason. So I turned my guy like all blue, and I named him Jonas, and he had the J shirt because I thought it was the closest to like Joja. I don't know. I guess I could have named him Jojo, but that's weird. And um, he did the Jojo route. And I just uh, called the farm Severance Farm because I imagined that it was a severance package because his grandpa actually died from a Joja Cola overdose. And the farm was just like given to them by the Joja Corporation because it was this patch of land that they weren't planning on doing anything with. That's how, what it was in my head anyways. I mean, I know that's not true, but... That's what I decided. That's how I justified it. But even though Grandpa died via the Joja Cola, I was still obsessed with it. It's very addictive. I like to give myself stories sometimes. 
Yeah, the auto petters, but they're like 50, I think 50k a piece, right? So expensive, but if you're rolling in the money, it doesn't matter. Okay, kind of want to do fishing, but kind of want to get some iron going and get some stuff too. Let's go hassle Pam. Oh, gotta be able to buy this um, backpack upgrade. Oh, I'm way too early to hassle Pam. Ooh, hello food. Let's talk to the good doggo. Hey, good doggo. You kept Lewis's shorts and put it in stuff. I wish you could keep the prismatic jelly, but you can put that on this a sign and display it. So that's nice. I just wish that if you put something on a sign, it like locked it. Oh, it's bleh. We have to wait an hour. What am I going to do for an hour? Wish I had my fishing rod on me. There you go, bacon. He did it. You like my head cannons? I come with, with like a lot of stories, actually. Something I was planning on- Oh! Hey, Claire! Something I was planning on doing has to do with like, um, crafting my own little story and things. But that's like a, a long-term project that I want to do. I love being very creative. I know I don't really, um, do a whole lot of creative stuff with the videos that I make. Most of them are just playing and me, like, talking. But there's a lot of creative stuff that I do want to do. And I'll, I'll get around to it when I start having a bit more time to dedicate to that. You know what? Let's actually buy a better fishing rod, too. So we can start using some bait, yeah? <laughs> Wait, really? If you do the Jojo route, you can buy seeds any time of the year? That's pretty baller. You got two of yours, uh, the auto petters in the dangerous mines. You know what? Actually, the dangerous mines are kind of awesome. Like, I love them. If I get, once I get the option to switch over to that, I don't switch back. I like, I absolutely love them. You get so much good stuff. The crates in there have some crazy good things in there too. Happy birthday, Pam. Miss Pam Alama. Here's a parsnip for ya. Ooh. Um, let's go grab this backpack. Let's go grab a rod and let's go do something. Yeah, fully upgraded backpack on the 18th of spring. What? I mean, I know other people have done it better, but whatever. I <laughs> don't care. Do we want to get any trees? Nah. What would you guys rather have me watch me do? You guys want to watch me do some fishing today? Because it's the last day of the stream today. Um, we can do some fishing or I can do some mining. I'm totally down with either one. You've never found an auto petter? Oh, I'm sorry. It's great. Like, I still like petting all the animals. Sometimes I feel like their friendship doesn't boost as much with that, with an auto petter. But um, you can still pet them and like do all that. But I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I just always assumed that it was. Oh, we can do a... That. I have not upgraded my watering can, but I will need it tomorrow. I would have had to have upgraded it yesterday. What do fishy miney? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We're going to buy this rod either way. Fiberglass. Yeah. And wow, fully upgraded backpack. Well, since you guys are going to decide that, I'm going to pop on back to the house and see how many tea saplings we can craft real quick. And throw those in the box, kind of sell them for a hot minute. It's looking like Miney is winning. I think that might be the good idea. But hopefully we have some more rain the rest of the season, but I've already caught the fish that we need from the rain this season so we've caught a catfish and we have an eel so it's not detrimental to like my life 
But that would be nice either way. I'm down for whatever. D. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Gold Grasshopper, how's it going? All right. It's looking like it's um. Ooh, it's so close. I'll see how we get once we hit 50 votes. We got six more to go, you guys. If we hit 50 votes, I'll I'll make the decision there. I was just gonna craft a couple of um, spring onions or spring plants. Let's plant a few more, actually. Since I have the rain for it, I want to make sure that we get a good, good supply. And then we'll be getting some sprinklers. So one, two, that's where a sprinkler's gonna be? Okay. And then right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. It's a miney day. Okay, so we'll do that right around one. I'm just gonna plant a few of these. Um, we'll just leave that tree there for a minute. There we go. I don't know how many that is. And then I'll make some tree saplings and we'll go mining. Yay! I really like that you guys can like make decisions for me because <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> it's so great. All right. Fishing because I need catfish. Oh, yeah, I got the one. Although more catfish will be good for friending up Willie a bit. Oh, thanks, Lauren. You're good. I wasn't I didn't stream last week, so you're fine. Um, I actually was very sick for about almost five days last week. It was oh, it was rough. But I'm feeling a lot better. Really? You're feeling a bit sick today? Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, the polls make it more fun for you guys, I think. And fun for me. I like not making decisions. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and drop this fishing rod off with the fish. Okay. And then with these few seeds that we have, we've got 18. That means I can make just a few tree saplings. I don't have like a whole lot of fiber. I don't really need fiber for a ton of different things. Um, let's just make as many as the fiber will let us. Put that, put that away, put that away. Oh, I'm out of horseradish? No, there it is. <laughs> I can't see things. I'm on my last dandelion. So I can only make one more pack right now. Okay. Cool. Well, that makes that decision easy for me. We'll drop that off. We'll make another little bit of tea saplings. I think it's five. And then we'll drop this off. I would plant some tea saplings, but right now, um, they take 20 days to grow, so they won't be ready until next season anyways. Oh my gosh, Lauren, thank you so much for the $20. In, s <laughs> in the pear. <laughs> that was great. Hmm. Your first time in, Renee. Welcome. We're doing the um, Stardew Valley Expanded again today, and now I'm feeling much better this week. I hate being sick so much. It happens a lot during uh, season changes for me, and I get laryngitis like twice a year also, but I didn't get laryngitis this year. It was just like stomach stuff and like I was feeling really lightheaded and lame. Oh, we have a cave, a fruit cave, you guys. Let's see what we got. Oh, an apricot and a cherry and a blackberry. Ooh, that's great. Oh, I think what I'm gonna do is actually build a chest and put it nearby there too. Or actually, no, I can just do this. I forget. We have the anywhere chest. I don't have to go back there. We'll go to forage and put those there. Yeah, that's nice. You are very into me too. Like I can't decide. Uh, uh, oh, it's so horrible. And then I ask my kids when it comes to like what to eat for dinner. I'll ask them what they want to eat. And they're worse than I am. So... <laughs> I have to plan out dinners like a week for the week in advance because I just will never eat if we don't because I can never decide. Um, 
Honestly, we don't have many salmon berries at all. And I think salmon berry season ends tomorrow, but I'm not that worried about it. I don't know why. I'm feeling like it'll be okay. Uh, probably because we're kind of rolling in some money. So I can buy a bunch of, um, others. I can buy some stuff. Oh, I don't have any bombs. We can craft a couple of these, though. You're such a baby one. Yeah. <laughs> I probably could have streamed, but I was just feeling... I know that I wouldn't have been very fun to watch or entertain it at all. Um, probably would have just been here like, oh, <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Um, right now, tomorrow, I'm live streaming once a week on Sundays. That was probably the fourth time I've ever live streamed uh, on YouTube. Um, I'm going to work on getting some more, but my work schedule just makes it kind of difficult for me to set up a good enough schedule. Because I work late nights. And when I wake up in the morning, it's kind of hard. Uh, you used to be someone who powered through sickness. Oh, yeah. Especially working in the restaurant industry, even though I shouldn't have. I used to go to work sick all the time. Because if I don't go to work, I don't make money. And if I don't make money, <laughs> you know, it sucks. Ooh, Nani, it's a setting that you can do after you launch uh, Stardew Valley Expanded for the first time. There's a setting that you can um, put. There's a, a config file that you can set up. Um, that, I do believe. Yeah, I'm on year one. This is my first spring. You have really bad allergies. Yeah, the, the season changes affects my vocal cords really badly. Oh, we're going to level up our, our combat today, which is fantastic. Oh yeah, you don't have to play with, with mods. This is just, it's fun to watch. I like watching some people's mods. I've always wanted to play with a tractor mod, but I always felt like it would, it would make my life too easy. Okay, so it's not a very good luck day. We're not gonna make a whole lot of progress, it's fine. Usually if it's less lucky, I try and start from further away from the ladder and I feel like the, the stairs are there. Uh, not so much luck right now. Hello. You have to check that out. Um, yes. Get it from the Nexus. There should be links in the description, too. I believe I linked them all there. And... Well, it'll be good. Da 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 uh, the the good um, helpful tints or help helpful tips um, when it comes to stuff in the mods is reading making sure that you spend some time to read the forms I, I could go down there but I kind of want to squish this bug um, read the comments that they have because pretty much any problem that you might have had with a mod or a question someone's asked it especially with something that's been around for a long time um, so I always check that there first before I kind of go down the the Google hole of <laughs> trying to figure things out because usually people have already asked what you're trying to figure out and someone else has answered them. If not, then I'll like dig into the other stuff and go down the Google rabbit hole. Yay, level up! The tractor mod, but harvesting doesn't count for the community. Oh, really? Oh, that's terrible. Does it count? For, it probably doesn't count for the key fruit either, does it? God, can you imagine? Oh, yeah. Pretty much 90% of when I'm searching for an answer to something, um, I'll type the word Reddit at the end of it in Google because, yeah, if I have a question for something, someone's answered it on Reddit. Reddit's my favorite social media platform. <laughs> it's just so weird. I feel like it's like the social media of just a bunch of weirdos hanging out, which I like. Because that's me. <laughs> Yay, a crab. Hey, crab. Ooh, we got a scroll. 
And I think that's the first time getting that one. Yeah. Nice. Just realize you've been assigned. Oh, no. You have an assignment due tomorrow. Rough. Oh, so Annabelle, I actually have a thing called um, animation canceling on right now. I don't think I've added that in the description. I should. So it's actually not a mod. It's um part of the game. If you push like a certain combination of buttons, which I don't remember what they are offhand, um, it cancels animations. And so what I have is a macro setup or an auto script for what's called a, like a macro, which when I push a specific button, what it does is um, it executes the three buttons or the three controls that it is to cancel an animation. So when I hit the space bar, it does like control shift or whatever it is, right? And so um, instead of just doing the regular, like I can do regular, see, or I can do that, which is fast. So that's canceling the animation there. So I have it set up so that um, I can just do things really fast. It saves a lot of time. I kind of want to go down here. Yeah, we don't need to go up just yet. Let's just move all this stuff. There is, um, I'll probably throw a link in there later, uh, in the description later of how, of animation canceling stuff. It took me a little while to learn it, honestly, and I'm still not very good at it, but I've seen a bunch of speedrunners use it and I'm just like, I want, <laughs> I want that. Thank you, guys. um, when I watch Hob the Habu stream, he uses animation canceling. It's, it's a part of the whole speedrunny thing, but they use it in a different combination than me. The way I do it isn't, wouldn't classify as um an official speed run combination i guess i don't know because so i think you have to be able to hit multiple keys or something yeah with it it can be great for watering things um i can get all my crops like watered it by 10 o'clock instead of like one o'clock because it's so quick it's so great Ooh, look at all these bugs come on ancient fruit somebody ancient seed somebody come on nope okay well i tried <laughs> yeah a lot of people have a different it just depends on what's comfortable for them no Oh, this sword is so great. This is my first time hitting the mines once we got this for forest sword. I'm just gonna go. Although I probably should have found that coal cart. <gasps> Ooh, another glow ring. It's 50 bucks. I could sell that. I love the crates. Always, 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 especially if it's a lucky day. Break the crates. It takes no energy and you can get some really good stuff. Uh, we're just gonna go. Man, I'm getting so many, um... Upgrading to bronze, silver, and then gold watering. Yeah. Upgrading it. I still upgrade it. But it can make it really helpful in the early times. Um, we are actually at my favorite levels. The darkest levels. The darkest depths of the dungeon. Let's go ahead and um, drop this off. I'll drop that off. I don't need you. I'll drop that off too. You haven't started mining yet? It can be really fun. Oh, really? A learner how-to video. What we I need is a learner how to, like, just how to set up speed running and how to get started on that, too. That would be super great. I know a little bit, but not enough. Bats. Bats. <laughs> I'm Batman. No, I'm not. I'm just a person who wishes I was. I really wish that there was- ooh, look at all this good stuff. 
I wish there was like a Batman mod. I always thought about making one. <laughs> Where one of the hats turns into a Batman cowl and... Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, friend. That would be great. And then instead of um shooting certain ammos from your slingshot, you could shoot batarangs and they make bat noises. That's what I imagined I would have done. I just don't have the time. <laughs> I just want to be Batman, okay? Just let me be. Ooh. Guess we'll go. Um, so in order to start mining, all you gotta do is head to the mines on, um, I think it's the fifth day. Um, once you get in there, you are given a sword and you just need a pickaxe. You don't have to be any specific level to start mining. There's a ladder right at the top level that you go down. And then as you progress, you get more ladders like you're seeing me do here. And you can get to lower areas and you'll start like leveling up your mining skill as you go. Be able to get better pickaxes upgraded at Clint's and um... It'll make it so it doesn't take so much energy. Yeah, so there was a ladder that made me go down. And then um, you get elevators, which will help you navigate the mines a lot better. Cannot believe that I have a full backpack right now. Oh yeah, a Batmobile instead of a horse. That would be so great. Like, I really feel like I want to make a Batman mod. Just so I can have bats everywhere. You know what I really want? I really want to squish these guys. And I want the, the cave on the farm. I want it to be like a coal cave. And I want to have dust sprites there. Not to kill. They're just for ambient reasons. But I want dust sprites. That would be great. Ooh, Omni Geode. That's nice. Do you know that Clint actually loves Omni Geodes if you ever end up with a ton of them? I always feel weird giving Omni Geodes away because, like, what if that was something awesome? Or what if it was another rock? <gasps> really? A mod that has dust sprites in the cave? I might have to do that. It's my kind of mod. Okay, it's 120. I'm gonna pass out because honestly, I wasn't really paying attention, but it's okay. We leveled up. I'm just gonna lose like four, five hundred gold. <laughs> Yowch. Ooh, hello. 35. So here's the elevator. Head up to the top of the elevator. Oh, I totally forgot Marlin's here. What is Marlin like? One, two. Marling gives it to you on day five. Yes. Yeah, Heather. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you want a small army of little murder falls. <laughs> that would be great. Um, sometimes I use the, the predictor when I'm trying to make specific videos, but I don't usually do it for my playthroughs because I like to be able to to uh, make what I'm doing uh, authentic, right? Oh yeah, in this game, in this playthrough, Marlin moves. He loves slime eggs and roots platter. Okay, I don't have any of those, so... Ooh, what am I going to grab? We'll just give him an amethyst. Hey, buddy. Yay! Ooh, it doesn't- <laughs> look at his face. He's like, whatever, dude. <laughs> you think he would like leeks and salmon berries? Yeah. I definitely think that I should be making a, um, a loved gifts for Stardew Valley Expanded. I do- yeah, I do think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab my one sap. <laughs> we'll grab the crab. We'll have that in our pockets. We'll have this. Oh my gosh, my pockets! Look how many pockets I got! Little- little pouches. I imagine like I upgraded my pants to like cargo pants, <laughs> pockets everywhere. All right, and that's it. Let's uh, let's go pass out. Yay! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Easiest gift to give Marlin is beer. Ooh, that's good to know. Okay, 
Let's go ahead and hit OK and look at the sell sheet. I sold a few tea saplings, 7,000 gold, yeah. 14, yeah, so much money. <laughs> it feels like I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm not. It's part of the game. It's supposed to be there. But I really think that if the tea saplings were only worth like, uh, I don't know, like 150 gold, you would still make up money, but it wouldn't be ridiculous money. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're going to wrap it up for today. So I got to go make some food for the children. Let's go to Chatty Chat Land. There we go. Oh. Yeah, so now I'm going to write on a list things that I'm going to work on. We're going to make an uh, agro culture <laughs> uh, list for the sea tracker and then maybe a loved gifts thing for um, Stardew Valley Expanded so I can reference that in this. That'll be helpful. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mermaid. Flower dance, even in vanilla Marlin says that Marnie looks like, yeah, I really, I ship Marlin and Marnie so much. <laughs> I feel like that would be a much healthy relationship for her, but that's just me personally. <laughs> oh, thanks, Donnie. Thanks for coming in. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll be back again on Sunday. Um, for sure. Probably right around one o'clock, um, one o'clock, uh, Pacific Standard Time and then work on trying to fit a couple more days and throughout the week um, to do some more streams and stuff. Let's I figure out my life. <laughs> oh, that'll take a few years. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Liv. Oh, yeah. I like the sandwich farm a lot. Thanks, Loba. I don't know what I'm making. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. I'm going to get going. So... Bye! Hi! <laughs> uh.